American Comics, Create the Man in Black, Start Interviewing the Three-Body Problem Author, Vice, Chapter 126 Multiple Preparations for the Dark Legion There must be no mistake at all, he was already surprised by the almost accident before, Corvus Clay I've looked at Ebony Moore's worried look, and couldn't help but speak, that human being is very powerful, under all the attacks of our fleet just now. He can persist for a long time and is safe and sound. I think he is a terrible opponent. Earth is a little hard to conquer, not that I didn't think about it, but the truth. Corvus Clay I've looked at Ebony Moore, and told how can Yun resisted the attack of the Dark Legion fleet just now. Because Ebony Moore was not there just now, he had to tell Ebony Moore everything that happened just now. Only in this way can Ebony Moore analyze the situation. After hearing what happened just now, Ebony Moore couldn't help but widen his eyes and he said in surprise, what, that human being can resist the offensive of our fleet, what kind of existence is he, you have to know that our king's physical body is extremely powerful, but it is also difficult to resist the offensive of the fleet, Ebony Moore couldn't help breaking out in a cold sweat, all his eyes were on Kin Yun, that ordinary man had a sense of mystery about him, and he couldn't tell what his strength was at all, this person may be stronger than our king, he came to a conclusion, he didn't dare to speculate any further, the more frightening he felt, the more frightened he was. How long has it been since I didn't feel any fear in him, but now I actually feel a little bit of fear. He made two requests to us before. Any request? One chooses to die, and the other chooses to surrender and become his subordinate. Corvus Clay I've answered honestly. Ebony Moore frowned, not daring to think any further. It's okay, just watch the situation, and we'll see later. Let's see what our king will say after he wins. We must believe in our mission. Our king is omnipotent, as long as he can win. He will definitely tell us an answer. Tilda. Ebony Moore didn't dare to make a decision, and could only think of waiting in the middle of the battle, after Thanos finished fighting. Corvus Clay I've nodded, saying nothing more, and the battle between Carol and Thanos had intensified. Thanos has a wound on his face, from Carol punching him in the face. And Thanos also left a knife wound on Carol's arm. Do you feel that your strength is being lost bit by bit? Thanos showed a playful smile. He was injured by his double-edged knife, and the double-edged knife would absorb the opponent's energy little by little and turn it into his own news. As a result of further fighting, Thanos will become stronger and stronger, while Carol will become weaker and weaker. Carol frowned, already feeling that the energy in his body was passing away bit by bit. Therefore, she wants to make a quick decision, and she must not continue to procrastinate any longer. She clearly knows that procrastinating will not do her any good. Carol tried to use her energy to heal her wounds, but she couldn't. He only felt the power of the curse on the wound, devouring his healing. She looked back at Kinyan and Ancient One Magician in the distance, frowning. Damn it, they have no intention of helping. If I lose, will their ending be better? Carol didn't think about the power of Kinyan and Ancient One Magician, and what happened before. Ha ha, I didn't expect that. Wait to die. Just when Carol didn't respond, Thanos jumped again, and slashed down fiercely with the double-edged knife, with huge force from top to bottom. 3 E. Thanos yelled, and with the momentum of breaking the boat, he slammed down and Carol didn't dare to take it hard, she already knew the special feature of the double-edged knife in Thanos' hand, if it was hardwired, there would definitely be trouble, she could only avoid its sharp edge, choose to take a step back, and flashed from other directions, well done, our king is about to win, ha ha the earth is ours, hmph, who dares to underestimate our king, although the woman across from her looks like she has some tricks, she has nothing to worry about, ha ha, it won't take long, our king will win, all the people of the Dark Legion are optimistic about Thanos, they clearly know the strength of Thanos and the prestige of a double-edged sword. As long as it is attacked by the double-edged knife, it will not be long before the victory is Thanos's, without exception. With the existence of double-edged swords and strong physical strength, Thanos is invincible. In their eyes, no one can defeat Thanos. Thanos is invincible. Take them to invade other planets again and again, plundering resources, leading them to victory again and again. No one can resist Thanos' footsteps. It seems that our lord has really won. Corvus Clay Ivor was also very happy when he heard the people under him shouting Thanos' name loudly, and he turned to look at Ebony Moore. Seeing that Ebony Moore's brows were still tightly furrowed, he was at a loss for a moment. He didn't understand that the situation would soon be won by Thanos. Ebony Moore was still so nervous. He asked Ebony Moore curiously, What? What are you thinking? Ebony Moore shook his head slowly. He was a little afraid of Kinyan and Ancient One Magician's attack. Now Carol's situation is very bad. In the information he collected, although the people on Earth may not be united at ordinary times, however, once encountering a foreign enemy invasion, they will be extremely united, without exception. When foreign enemies appear, they will work together to fight against difficulties. This has been proven from the previous Battle of New York, when Thanos sent people to invade the Earth. Therefore, he had a bad premonition, if Carol failed, in case Kinyan and Ancient One Magician came out, 
Concubine Johnson, the result is troublesome. Ebony more worries about that. I'm mainly afraid that when our king wins, the people on earth will make a move. If they make a move, things may not be right. We must ensure that we can quickly bring our king back. When the opponent makes a move, Ebony more frowned and said, he must ensure that his fleet does this. That's the only way to relax. Don't worry too much. We have to trust our king. Even if someone makes a sudden move, our fleet can definitely do it. Trust me. Trust our soldiers. Corvus Clay I've showed a smug smile. He had 100% confidence in the speed of the fleet. As long as there is a mistake, they can reach Thanos in an instant, and successfully bring Thanos back. He has this confidence. Chapter 127. Thor goes out. Okay, be ready at any time. If there is really a mistake, our fleet must all go out. Even if the fleet is completely destroyed, it's okay. But we must ensure that our king is safe and sound. Ebony Moore slowly stretched out his hand and clenched his fist. A hint of viciousness flickered in his eyes. In his opinion, anyone in the Dark Legion can be sacrificed and die. Only Thanos can't. Only if Thanos is alive can the operation of the Dark Legion be guaranteed. However, this is the worst outcome, and Ebony Moore does not want to see the worst outcome. Therefore, there is still some desire in my heart. I hope that Kinyan and Ancient One Magician will not make a move. At the same time, Carol's situation is getting worse and worse, and the energy in her body is being absorbed bit by bit by the double-edged knife. If she can't solve this trouble as soon as possible, she will definitely fail. HMPH, it's just a bedbug, and it still wants to jump up and down in front of me. Thanos showed a smug smile, the double-edged knife in his hand had a faint golden light, and he knew exactly what the next situation would look like. Now you only need to procrastinate, and you don't have to think about the rest of the matter at all. Even standing here and chatting with the other party will have no effect. 627 as a member of the Eternal Clan. He has an extremely strong physical body and extremely high defensive power. Carol's strength has been weakened again and again. Soon, even if Thanos stood up and let Carol hit him, it would be useless. Thinking of this, the smile on Mi's face became even stronger. Carol was clearly aware of this, and said to his communication device, Director Nick, I need your help. Please send help from the Earth forces as soon as possible. If I die, it will not do the Earth any good. Director Nick, Please lend a helping hand as soon as possible to get all the Avengers out. At the moment Carol is at the end of the rope, and she has already started asking for help from the Avengers she has always looked down upon. It's ridiculous to say that, as a cosmic policeman, one day, he will encounter such a situation. At the moment, S-H-I-E-L-D on Earth, Nick frowned when he heard Carol's voice coming from the communication device. On his braised egghead, he was also extremely anxious now, he looked at the staff of S-H-I-E-L-D behind him and then at Thor who was drinking beer and eating fried chicken. Looking at Captain America who was drinking, CBCG, water, he couldn't guarantee whether they would be able to lend a helping hand for a while, and they were all people who acted on their own mood. Nick, did Carol tell you something? Natasha Romanoff on the side asked, she watched Nick's complexion getting worse and worse. His already dark face became darker by three points as if black paint was sprayed on his face. Nick nodded slowly and took a deep breath. Carol's situation is not very good. She asked us for help. This is the first time she has spoken to me. We have to deal with it. If Carol dies, it won't do us any good. We have to find a way. He turned his head and looked at several people, feeling very tired for a while. Natasha Romanoff thought about it thoughtfully, looking at Kinyan and the Ancient One magician outside the universe. If Thor and the others didn't choose to make a move, they could only rely on Kin Wai and the magician to make a move. But if Kinyan and Ancient One magician made a move, they would have helped them a long time ago. They are still watching, and their attitude is obviously clear. Moreover, Carol repeatedly ruined Kinyan's good things. Based on her understanding of Kinyan, it is normal for Kinyan not to help. It would be abnormal if Kinyan hurried up to help. Thor, we need your help. Captain Marvel isn't doing well. Nick has no choice but to go to the side and ask Thor even though Thor is also a part of Avengers. But Thor is a real god. He is an ordinary person who dare not ask for anything. What? Isn't Carol usually very arrogant? Why do I need help now? It seems that she is still really fancy but not useful. Thor sighed cheerfully. He happily drank the glass of beer in front of him, and hiccuped. Nick's face was very bad. No way, if Carol dies, it won't do us any good, and it won't do King Asgard either. Nick told the truth, and Thor knew it too, nodded, and stretched out his hand. Mjolnir flew into his hand. Don't worry, I'll try my best to help. But you all know how powerful Thanos is. If I didn't save Carol, don't blame me, Thor said honestly. He had already heard of Thanos' reputation, and it was not much worse than his own father. And there is an insurmountable gap between him and his father Odin. This is a fact, and there is no way to make up the gap by other means. Nick heard Thor reach out to help, and he was relieved for a moment, and a big stone in his heart fell. He will not ask for more. As for Captain America and others, they are not suitable for fighting in the universe, but it is very suitable for Thor to come forward. Thor rounded Mjolnir a few times and headed towards the universe with a bang, 
and a big hole appeared above S-H-I-E-L-D's head. Thor is still the same, can't you think about it for S-H-I-E-L-D, and I don't know how much it will cost to repair here. Captain America pouted helplessly and Nick smiled awkwardly. It's okay, this little loss, S-H-I-E-L-D can still bear it. I just hope he can bring good news. Nick then turned around and quickly replied to Carol through the communication device. Carol, Carol, we have sent Thor to help. Please hold on until Thor arrives, I hope Thor's appearance can help you. This is the greatest helping hand we can extend. If there is no other way, then give up the earth, abandon the earth. After Nick finished speaking, there was a sense of powerlessness all over his body, which made his body involuntarily go limp. At the same time, Thor has been accelerated by Mjolnir to the outside of the universe. He looked at Tony in the mecha and couldn't help laughing. What, Iron Man, why don't you help? Just hide under the iron shell, what's the use? Tony shrugged indifferently, he still had a little awareness of his own strength, he knew what to do and what not to do. If he went up to help Carol, wouldn't that be courting death for himself? The arrival of Thanos' men has caused a lot of trouble for their Avengers, let alone a sterilized deity. Dot. Chapter 128 Absorb the energy of infinite gems and you will die. Even Carol is not good enough. In front of Thanos, Tony feels that no matter how advanced his technology is, he has no way to fight against God. Thor, you'd better take care of yourself. As far as I know, you should not be as strong as Thanos. Be careful with your life. As for whether Carol is dead or not, it doesn't really have much influence on me. Look at the Trisolaran fleet over there. Even if Thanos wins, the Dark Legion will be resisted by the Trisolaran fleet. Why are you so anxious? Just don't go up and do Carol a disservice, otherwise, many people on the Earth will watch the show. Don't you think? Tony said sarcastically, he was very happy to watch a good show. But he didn't have too many thoughts when he saw the good show on himself. Now that Thor wants to help Carol, he has to weigh himself whether he has that partition. If not, it's better not to help obediently. Be careful that you get yourself into trouble, maybe you will die in the hands of Thanos. Carol's strength is much stronger than Thor's. Even Carol can't solve Thanos, let alone Thor. And the Dark Legion won the victory, as the leader of the Men in Black organization, Kenyan will definitely not stand by. When the Dark Legion first appeared, the Trisolaran fleet was already in battle, and it was obvious why. Tony knows clearly that the so-called S-H-I-E-L-D on Earth is just kidding with others. S-H-I-E-L-D is not as powerful as the Men in Black. What makes Tony feel the most funny is that many people in S-H-I-E-L-D are already Men in Black. But as the director, Nick has no way at all. He has no way to stop it. Even the best agent in his hands is already in the hands of the Man in Black. Nick is still pretending to be stupid, pretending not to know. How can Nick, who usually plans other people's lives, compared to Kenyan from the Men in Black organization. It's completely different, it's no better than not knowing, and it's more shocking than not knowing. Tony is telling the truth. Thor curled his lips helplessly, doesn't he know what's going on? But there is no way, there is no turning back when you open the bow, if you want to do it, you have to consider more things. Thor was ready for battle, he didn't say anything to Tony, and turned into a shooting star and appeared beside Carol. Ha! Mjolnir swung at Thanos in a fine arc, knocking Thor back a few steps with one punch. HMPH! This Thor is really asking for trouble. His three-legged cat is good enough in front of us, but isn't he going to die in front of Thanos? Tony smiled wryly. He clearly knew the difference in strength between the two, but Thor seemed to be obsessed with it, which made him have no idea to stop him. Carol, I'm here to help you. How long will it take for your injury to heal? Thor looked at the knife wound on Carol's body, and at a glance, he knew that there was such a cursed force on it. The curse is devouring the energy of Carol's body little by little to breed Thanos' double-edged sword. You help me block it, it won't take long, I will forcefully inject my energy, very quickly. Carol frowned and said, she is confident that the power of the curse can be solved. But if she solves the power of the curse at the same time, she has been parrying Thanos' offensive. As a result, she has not solved the trouble as soon as possible and effectively, and the trouble has always troubled herself. However, as long as she is given enough time, the curse power on her body can be touched. It's just that she is worried, can Thor survive for so long? If she is killed by Thanos, what will happen to her? Carol couldn't help cursing inwardly. The Avengers on Earth are really bad, so they sent her a Thor. She turned her head and looked at Kinyan and Ancient One Magician in the distance with resentful eyes. She clearly knew that if Kinyan didn't make a move, it would be difficult. At the same time, Ancient One Magician smiled faintly and said to Kinyan, Kinyan, look at Carol and look at you again. Look at her little eyes. Tsk tsk tsk, as if she is blaming you. The Ancient One Magician in a yellow robe made an understatement and the corners of Kinyan's mouth twitched involuntarily. If you complain, just complain. What kind of porcelain work is there without diamonds? A little cosmic policeman doesn't know how big a storm he can make. A small Thanos is enough for him to drink a pot, as for the others, they are completely useless. Dot 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 asking for flowers. The meaning of Kinyan is very concise and clear, Carol can't read Thor enough. From his point of view, it was all children playing tricks, 
trying to influence him to recruit the Dark Legion. I really don't know why, I can't let the men in Black Organization accept it with confidence. The Trisolaran fleet is sitting behind it. How big a storm can the Dark Legion set off? The higher you jump now, the harder you will fall later. Why don't you surrender to his feet disheartened? Let them suffer, otherwise there will be more troubles in the future. If you want to dominate the universe, it will be difficult for you to do it alone. The Ancient One magician said lightly, she clearly understood Ken Yun's inner thoughts, how easy it is to dominate the universe, and how many planets there are. I don't know how many alien civilizations are all enemies one by one. Thanos is just the beginning and an appetizer at the same time. Behind, there are many gods waiting for Kin Yun. It's just that they don't think about making a move now, or they haven't discovered the men in Black Organization on Earth. But as time goes by, the men in Black Organization and its leader, Kin Yun, will all surface. By then, the men in Black will face more crises and troubles. At the same time, the Earth will no longer be stable. Kin Yun took a deep breath, put his hands behind his back and thought about what weapon he would use to deal with Thanos later. Should I choose to have Thanos in the back, or kill Thanos directly? Kinyan thought about it left and right, and finally chose the first idea, which is to use Thanos for himself, and let Thanos control the Dark Army at the same time. Otherwise, if he were to control the Trisolaran fleet and the Dark Legion at the same time, Kinyan would not have so much time to waste on this aspect. Come on, can I not think about what you said? As long as I absorb all the energy of infinite gems. Is there anything in the entire universe that I can't do? Kin Yun clearly knows how exaggerated the energy of the six infinite gems is, and now he has only seen the tip of the iceberg. Impossible, if you want to absorb all the energy of infinite gems, you will die. I am not alarmist, you know it in your heart. Chapter 129 The Threat of Small Pistols Why? Do you know the reason? Kin Yun looked at Ancient One Magician curiously. He knew that Ancient One Magician knew more about infinite gems than himself. Kin Yun just feels very strange. He can still absorb the energy of infinite gems, it's just a matter of time, if he absorbs all infinite gems, there will be a qualitative leap. But if the risk of absorbing infinite gems is so high, it must not be done. The Ancient One magician nodded slowly. She knew that Kin Yun really wanted to be strong, but infinite gems must never get involved. Once you get involved, the results will be absolutely terrifying. She saw in the different space through other means, absorbing the energy of infinite gems, it will be a destruction. She learned from many aspects and finally found that the energy of infinite gems is too huge, which is difficult for any one person or the seven or eight zero gods to achieve. If Kinyan persists in his obsession, the result can be imagined, she doesn't want Kinyan to take risks. That's right. The energy of infinite gems cannot be explained. Once absorbed, it will become an unstable factor for the body, and eventually lead to the explosion of the body. It is quite terrifying. The ancient one magician explained unhurriedly and Kinyan suddenly broke out in a cold sweat. He couldn't imagine what he would be like if he used up the energy absorption of infinite gems. It's over, I just absorbed a little bit, but I feel a little stuck. Kinyan told the truth, he did feel a hindrance in absorbing the energy of infinite gems before, and at first he thought it was because the energy of infinite gems was too huge. But he didn't expect the Ancient One Magician to stop him. At first Kinyan thought that the Ancient One Magician was afraid that he would break through to the God of Creation. But now looking at the sincere eyes of Ancient One Magician, he felt that Ancient One Magician didn't need to lie to himself. He put away the notebook containing infinite gems and never dared to touch it again. I hope you can listen to my words, and don't secretly absorb the energy of infinite gems again. Well, let's see them. The Ancient One Magician spoke lightly, looking at Carol and Thanos in the distance. When Thor joined, it did not bring any obstacles to Thanos. Thor's strength is not at the same level as that of Carol and Thanos. At the moment, Carol is trying his best to remove the curse on the knife on his body. The situation between Thor and Thanos is one-sided. Every time Thanos swings the double-edged knife and slashes at Thor fiercely, Thor always relies on Mjolnir to resist abruptly. If it weren't for Mjolnir's peculiarity, Thor would have been dealt with already, and Thor was sweating profusely. Carol, are you getting better? I can't hold on any longer. Ha ha, a little god, still dare to make trouble in front of me? If I don't kill you, it's hard to solve the hatred in my heart. Thanos laughed and said with a strong killing intent in his eyes, he wanted to kill Thor completely. He knows Thor's identity, the son of Odin, but Odin is already old and dying, even if Odin appears. He can't save Thor. Come on, come on, Thor, hold on for a while, I'm going to be healed soon. Don't worry, just need to defend, Carol said anxiously, and she immediately used the energy on her body to eliminate the power of the curse in her body. All it takes is two more minutes of Thor's delay. But what Carol is more worried about is, Will Thor really resist Thanos? She drew a big question mark in her heart. Bang bang bang. The sound of weapons clashing one after another. Thor's pressure was enormous. It's time for us to shoot. I don't want to see Thor dead. Looking at Kin Yun's situation from a distance, the situation is not good. He has to take action. He doesn't want Thor to die here. Thor is still somewhat helpful to him. Huh? Shot? 
The Ancient One magician asked suspiciously, only to see Kin Yan nodding firmly. In the next second, a golden door appeared in front of Thor, and Thanos' double-edged knife was instantly blocked. Okay, you two back off, Carol, don't spoil my good deed, otherwise, you will die. Ancient One magician and Kin Yan came out from the golden door, Thor was panting behind him, and Carol was still dealing with his own body. Carol frowned and didn't say much. Her situation was not good. Carol sighed slowly. It turned into a streamer and left the battlefield. Ancient One Magician, are you going to stop me? And you human beings, you are really beyond your capabilities. Thanos snorted coldly, looked at Kinyan and Ancient One Magician in front of him. He wanted to have a hearty battle with Ancient One Magician. I don't want to fight you, but I have other ideas. The Ancient One Magician shook his head slowly, with his hands behind his back. Thanos, I have told your Dark Legions, submit to me or die. You are now the leader of the Dark Legion, you should think about it first, I suggest you choose to submit to me, otherwise, you will die. Kinyan said without any emotion, Thanos glanced at Kinyan in surprise. Surrender to you? Isn't it too much of a joke? You really think you can conquer me? The Dark Legion obeys my orders. Kill, kill, kill. All the soldiers in the Dark Legion shouted loudly, resounding throughout the universe, it is impossible to make them surrender. As long as Thanos gives the order, they are willing to throw their heads and blood. Kill. Hear the shouts of soldiers? Do you think we will really surrender? Thanos laughed loudly, and suddenly a small pistol appeared in Kin Yun's hand, and he squinted his eyes. Surrender or die. I'll give you a minute to think about it. I think you should think about it carefully. The soldiers of the Dark Legion were dumbfounded when they saw Kin Yun take out a small pistol. It looked like a very ordinary gun. They all laughed. 4.7 What is this human being kidding? Take a small pistol and dare to frighten our king? Isn't it ridiculous? Ha ha. Yes. It's just a small pistol. I thought I would take it out. Don't you know that our king is from the Eternal Clan? The physical defense is extremely strong, and I don't fear anything at all. HMPH, stupid human beings, they will really look down on us, just wait to die. Our king, fight, fight, fight. However, Thanos outside the fleet didn't think so. He looked at Kinyan's pitch black muscle and had a bad premonition in his heart. But the courage in his heart made him unable to choose to surrender. He wants to conquer the entire universe, the earth will be occupied by him and all six infinite gems will be in his hands. Dot. Chapter 130. The Disappearing Right Arm. Humans. Give me six infinite gems, and I may choose to surrender to you, but you underestimate me and my soldiers. A little pistol, what are you thinking about? At the same time, the Ancient One magician standing beside Kinyan didn't think so, she had seen Kinyan's methods before. Any high-tech products, unimaginable things will appear from his hands. This time the Ancient One magician also felt the same way. Are you sure it's just a small pistol? Are you really going to choose death? Thanos, I think you are useful, otherwise, you would have died a long time ago. Kinyan told the truth that he wanted to use Thanos to manage the Dark Legion, otherwise, it would be too tiring for him to manage alone. So stay with Thanos over and over again, otherwise Thanos staying will not do him any good. Thanos snorted coldly reached out and pressed the small pistol to his forehead. Do you dare to try it? I don't believe that this little pistol of yours can kill me. It's too silly. Kinyan frowned slightly. 21 Thanos laughed when he saw this scene. No way. I think you just can't. If you kill me, you won't be like this. I bet the little pistol can't kill me. You are really cheap. If there is a way to heaven, you don't go. And if there is no way to hell, you go on your own. Kinyan didn't show any kindness to Thanos. He just felt that Thanos was too big and he still had to teach him a lesson, otherwise he wouldn't know how big this guy is. Kinyan moved the small pistol slowly, aimed at Thanos' arm, and pulled the trigger. Thanos is still smiling. Why, don't you dare to kill me, or your pistol's power is nothing more than that, so what do I think? At the same time, in the Men in Black organization on Earth, everyone saw that Thanos' right arm was directly turned into a bare piece under Kinyan's small pistol. Ha ha, this Thanos is really a toast and doesn't eat fine wine. The boss just doesn't want to have the same knowledge as him, and he didn't expect to make some arrogant demands again and again. Who says it's not? If the boss didn't want to take the Dark Legion into his pocket, the Dark Legion and Thanos would have already disappeared. Is it possible that one day we will go to work with Thanos? It's so interesting, isn't it? What kind of feeling does it feel to go to work with a purple potato monster? And Kinyan and Ancient One Magician, who are far away in the universe, smiled without saying a word. The two of them looked at each other, and Ancient One Magician pointed to his right arm. Thanos, I think you should take a look at your own body. This is Kinyan teaching you a lesson. I hope you can take care of yourself. Just as Thanos was about to say something, he lowered his head and looked at the direction of his right arm, but there was nothing there, as if he had never owned his right arm. Huh? FK what's going on? What did you do to me just now? Why is my right arm gone? Impossible. What the hell is going on? Where is my right arm? Thanos looked at the double-edged knife that fell to the ground, without any reaction at all. J-A-R-V-I-S, J-A-R-V-I-S, 
detect what level of technology is the small pistol in Kenyan's hand, and why is it so lethal? And Thanos still hasn't responded at all. If I learn this technology, my weapons from Tony Stark Industries will be upgraded to another level. Seeing this scene from a distance, Tony was very excited, because the technology on Kenyan's body was really advanced. Let him have no idea how Kenyan's technological products came about. Ten weapons are simply too advanced. Tony thought that his technology industry was already mature, but in front of Kenyan, he acted like a child. It was not enough to watch. As for how easy it is to learn Kenyan's technology, he tried to make Jarvis measure Kenyan's technology a long time ago. But Jarvis can't do it at all. The only thing around Tony is Jarvis. If Jarvis is useless, there is basically no way out. Report, sir. Kenyan's weapon cannot be detected at all and it is completely impossible with our current technology. If we keep researching in this direction, how many years will it take to catch up with Kenyan's technology? Sir, after a test, 5,000 years should be able to catch up with Kenyan's technology. What? 5,000 years. Hearing the reply from Jarvis, Tony widened his eyes and smiled in surprise. What kind of concept is 5,000 years? It seems that Tony Stark industry will never be able to catch up with Kenyan's technological footsteps. If you can get that small pistol from Kenyan's hand, and study it carefully, you should be able to speed up the progress of science and technology. Just one such a huge amounts of weapon with lethality, is it easy to talk about it? It can have huge amounts of lethality against Thanos at the level of the creator god. Now Kenyan is just showing mercy and making Thanos lose one of his arms. If Kenyan named at Thanos' head, or Thanos' entire body, wouldn't it be all gone? Thinking of this, Tony felt deep fear. In terms of technology, he had always been proud of himself, but in front of Kenyan, Nothing was enough. It hit his self-confidence deeply and made him a little lonely. At the same time, the fleet of the Dark Legion has appeared under the eyes of Kinyan 440 and Ancient One Magician. The door of the fleet opened, and General Xingqiu and Ebony Moor came out. Don't hurt our king. We choose to surrender. Stop. Corvus Clay Ive and Ebony Moor really had no choice. They watched from the fleet spaceship in the distance. Kinyan slightly pulled the trigger, and Thanos' arm disappeared instantly. If it is changed to other parts, it may be more dangerous and it is not impossible that there will be no bones left. Corvus Clay Ivan Ebony Moore cannot see the possibility that their king will die. So, he ordered the fleet to sprint at the maximum speed immediately, and appeared behind Thanos in the next second. Before Thanos could react, he could not help cursing when he heard Corvus Clay Ivan Ebony Moore choose to submit. Corvus Clay Ive, Ebony Moore, you two are my right hand men. Lead my soldiers to surrender? Why? Tell me a reason. Otherwise, I will never let you two go. Thanos stared at Corvus Clay Ivan Ebony Moore viciously. He hadn't realized that he had already walked through the gates of hell and thought he was the king of the eternal family. However, the appearance of Kinyan has already taken off the crown on Melu's head. Chapter 131, A Smart Choice Fighting alone, can Thanos withstand Kinyan's small pistol? It is simply a product of technology beyond the universe, and they have never seen such an exaggerated power. As for the fleet, no matter how powerful their Dark Legion's fleet is, they can be invincible in other places. But Kinyan's Trisolaran fleet is not enough at all. From the previous firepower charge, it could be clearly seen that the firepower of the Dark Legion and the Trisolaran fleet broke out, and the Dark Legion lost 20%. However, the Trisolaran fleet simply lost 5%. For the Dark Legion, 20% is enough to hurt the muscles and bones. As for the Trisolaran fleet, 5% is completely painless. If you continue to persist in obsession, the Dark Army will be wiped out. Corvus Clay Ive is worried about every soldier of the Dark Legion, and Ebony Moore is worried about the safety of their King Thanos. The two of them thought over and over again in the Dark Legion's fleet and in the end they could only choose such a result. My lord, we have no other choice. If we continue to persevere, our people and your life will all die. We have no choice. We surrender to him now. There is no other way. Wang, I hope you can understand our good intentions. Corvus Clay I replied sincerely, but Thanos didn't respond. He stood up, holding a double-edged knife in his left hand, and was about to strike towards General Clay Ive. Thanos, I suggest that you still think about it. If you are under your command, if you continue to be obsessed, I may aim at your head next time. You should think about it yourself, Kinyan said without any emotion, and he also felt that Corvus Clay Ive is a talent, he is a man who can bend and stretch, and Thanos at the moment is a little too impatient. Don't calm down and think about it at all, what is the purpose of my subordinates? It's not for the life of Thanos, but also for the soldiers of the Dark Legion. If they fight head to head, it won't do any good for the Dark Legion. That's why Corvus Clay Ive chose to surrender. From Kinyan's point of view, Corvus Clay Ive is such a man who knows the current affairs and is a hero. He couldn't help but applaud the general in his heart. If Thanos wants to shoot and kill Corvus Clay Ive, he has to ask Kinyan whether he agrees with the gun in his hand. The speed of the gun in his hand is already faster than the speed of light. If he pulls the trigger lightly, Thanos may not even react. He is already dead. Thanos ignored Kinyan, 
but looked at Ebony Moore standing beside Corvus Glaive. His eyes widened. Ebony Moore, I've always been kind to you, do you think the same way as Corvus Glaive? Thanos desperately wanted to know Ebony Moore's answer, and Ebony Moore curled his lips helplessly, wondering what happened to his king, and whether his head was broken. Didn't see the situation clearly until now. Still unwilling to admit the facts, Ebony Moore sighed helplessly, and replied respectfully. Our king, we have to think about the future. Their technology and fleet are far beyond our level, and your strength is also greatly limited, so surrender is the best choice. We still have a chance in the future. Thanos sat limply on the ground in an instant, he couldn't believe it. But the facts were already placed in front of him. He had to accept it if he didn't want to. Come on, that young man next to Ancient One Magician, we surrender. Very good, you made the most correct choice, Ancient One Magician helps Thanos restore his arm. Otherwise it will take Thanos' method for who knows how long. Kinyan heaved a sigh of relief in his heart. Thanos has agreed to surrender himself, then everything is settled. As for other things, let's think about it later. The Ancient One Magician smiled helplessly, a golden light appeared on Thanos' right arm, and the next second Thanos felt his right arm a little itchy. He saw that his right arm was growing out little by little, and after a while it had completely appeared. Ancient One Magician, I didn't expect you to have such abilities, Thanos said with a smile. Ancient One Magician nodded without saying anything, she turned to look at Kinyan. Kinyan then took out a contract. Sign the names of the three of you on it, and you will be my subordinates in the future. As for the soldiers of the Dark Legion, let them go to the next galaxy first, the Earth cannot accommodate so many. Thanos took it, looked at the content of the contract, and found that it looked like an ordinary piece of paper, but the content inside was not simple. As long as you sign your name, you will be bound by the rules of the universe. Once you violate it, you will be instantly killed by the power of the universe. Even if he is the god of creation, he cannot escape this result. Thanos couldn't help but twitched his mouth. He didn't expect the crusade against the earth to end like this. He really lost his wife and lost his army, and didn't bring down the earth. He also lost himself and his dark army. Thanos really wants to die, he wants to cry but has no tears at. Apostrophe dot it doesn't matter, become my subordinate, goddess of death, I will help you grab it. As for a small Deadpool, it is not enough to look at. As long as you do well under my hands, Goddess of Death will definitely send it up. Kinyan said cheerfully, the Goddess of Death he promised to go out, I don't know what the Goddess of Death will think when she hears it. But, it doesn't matter, no matter what, in the Milky Way, the Goddess of Death has nothing to do with herself. Is this true? When Thanos heard the name of the Goddess of Death, and heard that Kinyan would send the Goddess of Death to his house in the future, he forgot for a moment that he had surrendered. It's hard to chase after a gentleman's words. Thanos, you should still think about how you can do your own. Kian knew how, job well, Kinyan nodded, and both Corvus Glaive and Ebony Moore were dumbfounded. The two of them looked at Thanos with a look of hatred for iron and steel, but they didn't expect that their great king was just an out and out licking dog after all. Maybe in Thanos' mind, they don't care about these people at all, as long as the goddess of death wants, Thanos can kill all the people, and then give them all with their souls in their smiling hands. The appearance of the name of the goddess of death completely changed Thanos' eyes. It's really a licking dog. Don't you know that the dog has to die? Kinyan thought in his heart, he really didn't understand Thanos' thoughts, but as long as he joined him, he could gradually absorb the strength of Thanos as the creator god. And it doesn't have any effect on Thanos, which is more effective than infinite gems. Chapter 132 Thanos' new task work. Thinking of this, Kinyan showed a satisfied smile. After tossing back and forth for so long, it can be regarded as a good answer. As for the rest, it is completely out of his consideration. Rest for a while, wait for a while to see. As for the six infinite gems, you have to deal with them properly, once the six infinite gems are taken away by others, it will be troublesome. Thanos hurriedly signed the contract, and then Corvus Glaive and Ebony Moore had no choice but to sign their names. In the next second, a tremor occurred in the depths of their hearts, and there was a trace in the depths of their souls. Okay, let the Dark Army be sent to other planets. Anyway, your fleet is also very fast. If there is any emergency, just call them. As for Thanos, Corvus Glaive and Ebony Moore. You three come with me. Okay, there's nothing else to do, let's go back to our respective homes and find our mothers. Kinyan waved his hand and said, Ancient One Magician opened a golden door in front of the four of them. Passing through the door is the inside of the men in black organization on Earth. Seeing them return to the Earth through the means of Ancient One Magician, everyone 370 outside the universe also breathed a sigh of relief. With Thanos' solution, they don't have to worry too much in the future. What surprised them was that Kinyan had acquired the Trisolaran fleet and then Thanos. What exactly is the men in black organization doing on Earth? Is it to rebel? Want to dominate the Earth? They didn't dare to guess. At the moment, Natasha Romanoff in SHIELD on Earth saw that Kinyan and Ancient One Magician had returned to the men in black organization. Okay, I'm going back. As for what's going on, 
Let's talk about it later. You have to think about the men in black organization. Natasha Romanoff smiled faintly, then waved to Director Nick, and left the headquarters of SHILD. Boss, you are finally back. If any of you make the boss have trouble, you will all die. Damn, the boss already has us. Why do you need them? What's the use of them? Come back to hurt you, right? Okay, let's not say a few words. You come here and take the three of them to go through the entry procedures, and then arrange jobs for them. When you come here, you have to work and run things. Kenyan shrugged indifferently, and said to the agent, Agent J understood, and took Corvus Clay Ive, Ebony Moore, and Thanos to other places. Kenyan, who returned to his office, finally let out a long sigh of relief. Looking at the notebook with six infinite gems on the table in front of him, he was a little dazed for a while. The six infinite gems must not be lost. But where would it be better to put them? Or distribute the six infinite gems to six people and let them keep them better, and they can use the energy on the gems at the same time? The Ancient One magician appeared in Kinyan's office and spoke. Kinyan waved his hand quickly. He was the last thing he wanted to think about. How can you get all the infinite gems in the time administration? Isn't it because you give infinite gems to every designated person? But those designated people are not enough to watch at all, and they are useless at all. In the end, I failed to keep my life and neither did infinite gems. No one wants to see this situation, if infinite gems are lost, it will be even more troublesome to find them back. Kenyan quickly vetoed the idea. Impossible, ancient one magician, you should know that although you can strengthen yourself with the infinite gems, your risk factor is also gradually increasing. It's not about your risk factor for the earth and the men in black organization, but your own risk factor for being targeted by others. The previous few infinite gems were kept by people, but should the time management bureau take it or take it, take it away or take it away? How can you let me, CBBJ, rest assured? Kinyan spoke in earnest, and Ancient One Magician nodded his head. He thought about it thoughtfully, and felt that what Kinyan said was not unreasonable. However, because of a magician, he couldn't think of any good ideas for a while. Then what should we do? Is the infinite gems just in your office? Isn't it more risky? What if someone comes to steal something? In the opinion of Ancient One Magician, the six infinite gems should be separated, not concentrated. If concentrated, it is more dangerous than separated. Is the organization really rock solid inside? Like an iron barrel, can it resist all intrusions? Kinyan smiled and nodded. The person who can steal things in my office has not yet been born. Don't worry, it's the safest thing to put in my office, but let me put it in a more conspicuous place. Ancient One Magician curled his lips helplessly. Kinyan already had an idea in his heart, and asked her so many. He was really talkative. After talking for a long time, Kinyan will not take his own measures, it's just a waste of time. Okay, you can figure it out. I'm leaving. In the next second, the Ancient One magician disappeared into Kinyan's office, and Kin hung the notebook with six infinite gems directly opposite his desk. He can see it every day when he raises his head, and he won't lose it. Thinking of this, Kinyan smiled with satisfaction, and praised himself in his heart as a genius for being able to think of such a good way. Before Kinyan could sit still, there were several knocks on the office door. Bang bang bang. Come in. The door opened, and the people who came in were Agent J, Corvus Clay Ive, Ebony Moore and Thanos. Boss, their entry procedures have been completed, and their work has been arranged. I propose to let them serve as a diplomatic team to make friends with civilizations and creatures on other planets. Don't they have the Dark Legion? This is better than the Trisolaran fleet. Let the Trisolaran fleet guard the base camp. What do you think? The agent suggested that he thought his idea was pretty good, and that the current men in Black Organization will move beyond the universe sooner or later. Now that Thanos and others have just been recovered, it is just right to send Thanos to adventure in the surrounding universe and make friends. Not bad, not bad, you have considered it quite well, since you have proposed it, then I agree. These three people are all managed by you, you only need to report a few to me regularly, and as for other things, all talk to Jay. When the agent heard this, he was overjoyed, looking at the three big geese in front of him, one day he would be able to order the so-called aliens to work for him. Thank you boss for your trust. You. Chapter 133 Thanos Request The agent clenched his fist, his eyes full of fighting spirit. Are we really going to make friends? I know more or less about the lives in the outer universe, just kill them, and then plunder resources to enrich our men in black organization. Thanos asked with a sullen face. In his opinion, it would be too childish for his dark army to be sent out to become a diplomat. It's better to just send a fleet to sweep away the life in other universes. All the things you rob are useful tilde. One can increase one's strength while being invisible, why not do it? Agent J said with a straight face. What the boss says is what the boss says. You geese in black have just joined the job. You have to know that what the boss says is what you say. Don't have any rebuttal ideas. And your idea is very dangerous. The purpose of our men in black is not to strengthen our organization by slaughtering other universes. The agent looked at Thanos, thinking that a purple potato monster would dare to openly contradict his boss. Do you want to do it again in the future? Wait. 
Goose, Kinyan sounded thoughtfully, and at the same time, a systematic voice came from his mind. Update daily tasks. Option 1. Agree that Thanos will attack life and species in other universes by means of plunder, plunder resources and plunder population, so as to increase the strength of the men in black. Reward 500 spaceships comparable to the main fleet of the Dark Legion. Option 2. Agree that Thanos will establish a relationship with the multi-universe in a diplomatic way, with close and friendly means, and maintain interest exchanges and become the most sincere ally of the man in black. The reward is comparable to the 300 ships of the main fleet of the Trisolaran fleet spaceship. I want to choose both options, how about the system? Dot. Then it's agreed. The sound of the system did not sound in Kin Yun's mind again, Kin Yun opened his mouth and said, No, Thanos, the task I entrusted to you is this, you listen carefully. Facing alien civilizations that are stronger than your own, make friends with them and don't start a battle with them. In the face of those who are weaker than you, then you just go to plunder resources. As long as you can strengthen your fleet, no matter what means you have, it's okay. Hearing this, Thanos' A's couldn't help but become excited. Such an idea is the most appropriate. Let him, a dignified member of the Eternal Family, go to the universe to negotiate. That obviously underestimated his Thanos' reputation. In his opinion, diplomacy has to be established under the force of bloody battles and guns, and other alien civilizations dare to resist. Why don't they obediently make friends with the men in black on Earth? Instead of saying it earnestly, it is better to make an example to others. Thank you, boss. We like to do this. If this is the case, the regiment will make them succumb to the prestige of our men in black. Otherwise, it would be too troublesome for cats and dogs to invade the earth. Thanos said honestly, but he didn't know that before the cats and dogs in his mouth, there was his dark army. Okay, this time you came to earth and fought with the Trisolaran fleet, and lost 20% of the spaceships. I will add some for you now, boss. How much more? I have 2,000 ships under my hand now but now there may only be 1,500 to 1,600. I think it is enough. Thanos invaded the Earth this time, and he brought all his original 2,000 ships, which was much richer than the average creator god. Ordinary Quang Shi gods can only kill the people under their hands, and there are only less than a 1,000 ships. And he has such a background because of his strong strength and many battles at the same time. No, a 100 spaceships, don't say that our organization has nothing to do with you. What? 800? Just like giving Thanos to him easily. Corvus Clay Ive and Ebony Moore on the side both grew their mouths, and they couldn't believe their ears. He looked at Kenyon in surprise for a moment. Boss, do we have so many people in black? Why haven't I heard of it before? The agent asked curiously. He had never heard of any spaceship before, didn't expect Kenyon to be rich and powerful, so he came out directly to the 800 guards. Let him be more or less a little surprised. That's right. That's 800 ships. It's in the outer space of the Earth now, Thanos you can let your soldiers see it. Kinyan system rewards have already arrived, and the 800 ships are genuine, directly parked in the outer space of the earth. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Real? Thanos' eyes widened. He didn't expect that he would have so much trust just after he joined the black organization. For a moment, his heart was full of emotions, and he didn't know what to say. Ebony Moore, you call the soldiers immediately, let's go to the outer space of the earth to have a look. Thanos said in a hurry. The fighting spirit in his heart ignited once again. Add another 800 spaceships, plus I have between 2,200 and 2,300. With such a large fleet, I can definitely govern half of the universe. Okay, I leave the matter to you, Thanos doesn't care what you do, you can do whatever you want. Kinyan waved his hand, the arrangement is very clear, 800 spaceships are already the cost that the system has rewarded the most recently, all for Thanos is the limit. The agent looked at Kinyan like a fanboy, as the leader of the men in black organization. He has more and more secrets. Boss, you are really powerful. I admire you more and more now. Give me 800 spaceships, and I will definitely give you a satisfactory answer. Thanos also called Kinyan the boss. He felt very emotional for Kinyan now, and he had gained great trust. What a wonderful thing it is to conquer more planets in the future, and possibly get the goddess of death. There are soldiers under his hands and the goddess of death around him, and Thanos feels very excited just thinking about it. Just make sure to complete the task, and contact me at any time and contact me if there are any other important matters, Kinyan said indifferently, and handed things over to Thanos, other things he didn't want to consider, okay, boss, can I have one more request, what request, I want a power gem, which was originally, Thanos wanted to say that before the power gem was his own, he was already strong, and with another power gem, his strength would improve by leaps and bounds and rise to another level, now Kinyan has six infinite gems, and Thanos even wants to ask for as many gems as he wants, but this request seems a bit too much, and he dare not say any more. No, infinite gems cannot be handed over. What if there is a problem? Chapter 134 Thanos starts the journey again. You'd better give up on this idea. With the 800 fleet I gave you, 
you can do whatever you want. You don't have to worry too much. As for other things, you don't have to think about it. Use your means to tell the whole universe that anyone who dares to want infinite gems will die with one word. Even the time administration is the same. There was a murderous intent in Kenyon's eyes. He didn't teach the people of the Time Management Bureau a good lesson last time. When the next time comes, he must trample the Time Management Bureau under his feet. Looking at Kenyon's eyes, Thanos and the others couldn't help but shuddered. Thanos at the moment hadn't figured it out yet. Where did Kenyon in front of me come from? When he was wandering in the universe, no one knew that there was an organization of men in black on the Earth. At the same time, I didn't expect that the boss of 600 to the men in black is a young man with super strength, and he has many products that do not conform to the Earth's technology which is many times stronger than their technology. Now with a wave of his hand, he directly gave him 800 spaceships. This kind of generosity has never been seen anywhere. Thanos put away the excitement in his heart. He only had one idea, and he will be at ease when it comes. Having already chosen to submit to Kinyan's heart, he will never think about other things again. Anyway, following such a powerful boss is not a shame. Didn't ruin his Thanos reputation either. Okay boss, let's go first. If there is anything important, I will definitely report it. I will definitely return to Earth within two years and bring a different dark army to that day. Thanos resolutely assured Kinyan. Kinyan squinted his eyes, very relieved, as long as the people under him are like this, how can the organization of the men in black not grow stronger? Dominating the entire universe, not to mention a simple idea, is a completely achievable idea. Stay here, I still have something to tell you. The agent was about to go out, but Kinyan called him back, and he shouted excitedly, Boss. I knew that you would entrust me with some tasks. If you have anything to do, just tell me, and I will definitely complete the task. Kinyan smiled helplessly. He is such a person who likes to be careless all the time, but under his carefree style, he is extremely delicate. I just want to tell you, every time Thanos conquers a planet, report to me. Well, there's nothing else to do, let's go. After listening to the agent, he walked out of the office dejectedly. He didn't expect that Kinyan just gave him a very simple job and he thought he was going to do a big job. At the same time, Thanos and others are flying towards the outer space of the Earth. Wang, do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing for us to surrender to Kin Yun? Ebony Moore took a deep breath and spoke. He didn't expect that attacking the Earth would be shooting himself in the foot. He lost his wife and broke his army, and lost the entire Dark Army. This made him, as a think tank of the Dark Legion, really hit his confidence too much. However, Corvus Clay Ive did not have such scruples, he felt that Thanos' choice to submit to Kinyan was a correct choice. You must know that the Dark Legion is not at the same level as the Trisolaran fleet. If they refuse to attack the Earth again, they will simply seek their own death. Especially when Thanos was shot by Kinyan's small pistol, his arm disappeared. What a scary technology. In addition, Kinyan directly explained 800 spaceships with a wave of his big hand. Who in the universe has such a big hand? Even Thanos can hardly do it. The fleet of 2,000 spaceships was brought down bit by bit. But what about the men in black organization on Earth? An unknown organization that rose from the ground. However, it would be too ridiculous to underestimate the men in black organization because of these. Thanos shook his head slowly, he sighed deeply. It was hard for him to accept it for a while, but there was still nothing he could do. At that time, if he did not choose to surrender, he would most likely die, and he would die without a burial, and the entire Dark Legion might lose everything because of his choice. He is the leader of the Dark Legion, and he has to take on the corresponding responsibilities, not because of his own consideration, he must always focus on the overall situation. But Ebony Moore is just the opposite. What he hopes most in his heart is that Thanos is safe and sound. As for the soldiers under his hands, they are dead. When the time comes to fight again, he will continue to collect captives and turn them into his own soldiers. What he advocates is aggression and he will arm himself with the strength of other planets. In this way, while invading, your team will become stronger and stronger, how simple is it? Ebony Moore, don't think too much about it. I think it is the right choice to submit to Kinyan now. What other options do we have? Put away your schemes. You must know that in the face of absolute strength, schemes are only a small part. Sometimes thinking too much will hinder your own steps. Now that we have surrendered to Kinyan and become the organization of the men in black, we have to work for the men in black. You won't understand such a simple truth. Believe me. This time is definitely not a wrong choice. Thanos spoke earnestly. He knew Ebony Moore, knew the little Juju in Ebony Moore's heart at the moment. The meaning of his words made Ebony Moore put away that simple strategy, and everything was a foregone conclusion. No matter how you think about it, it is a waste of time and the capacity of your brain. The contract they signed is always restricting themselves. If there is an idea of rebellion in your heart, there is only one word for the ending, and that is death. And it is rejected by the whole universe. The universe rule is a mysterious law. No one will question the universe rule. Everyone is obeying it. As for destroying the rules of the universe, those who do not abide by the rules of the universe obviously have only one way waiting for them, and that is a dead end. Without any choice, 
Death is the only answer. Ebony Moore listened to what Thanos said. He nodded. The matter is a foregone conclusion. He should do his own job well and manage it under the management of the men in black organization. They are still very free. You can still continue to do what you want to do, and you will not be controlled very much. You only need to report on time, and report any major actions and actions in time. Dot. Chapter 135 Target is good. Kinyan may also provide them with greater help in the follow-up, the help that can be obtained without plundering. Why not do it? After the three of them reappeared outside the Earth, looking at a total of 800 spaceships, they didn't know what to say for a while. I didn't lie to us. 500 spaceships can rival the Dark Legion, and 300 spaceships can rival the Trisolaran fleet. Let's go. Thanos shouted excitedly. At the moment he seemed to have no king, like a child who saw something happy. He stepped forward and stroked the spaceship. The fighting spirit in his heart once again welled up in his heart, he wanted to kill all directions, and trampled all the planets under his feet. At that time, Goddess of Death will naturally know clearly which one is more important, herself than Deadpool. Thinking of this, Thanos showed a smug smile, as if the Goddess of Death was by his side in the next second. Ebony Moore and Corvus Clay I looked at Thanos's moved expression, and shook their heads for a while, without saying anything. Let the soldiers redeploy again. Count the current total number of spaceships in 21. I need to reply as soon as possible. Thanos waved his hand and immediately ordered to go down. Ebony Moore and Corvus Clay I've started to get busy. After a while, General Dow said with the collected information. My lord, we now have a total of 18,000 people, and a total of 2,260 spaceships. There are about 7 or 8 people per spaceship. I will deploy it immediately, and we will be able to set off immediately. Corvus Clay I've at the moment is also full of enthusiasm. Once invaded the Earth did not lose too many spaceships, but gained so many more. This made their Dark Legion rich again. After Thanos heard the answer, he also smiled. Go, my people, my soldiers, let us go home again. Let us find the treasures in the universe. We want to plunder in a short time, to make our Dark Army stronger again. Thanos shouted loudly, and all the soldiers of the Dark Legion responded one after another, resounding through the outer space of the Earth. At the same time, Kinyan in the organization of the men in black on Earth slowly took the infinite gems down from the wall. The six infinite gems exude enormous energy, and each gemstone is dazzling. He couldn't help being attracted for a while, watched for a while, and sighed helplessly. Hey! The energy of infinite gems can't be absorbed, when can I absorb it? The energy of infinite gems is enough to make me a creation god, or even above creation god. TSK TSK TSK, what a pity, if the ancient one magician hadn't told me, maybe I'd be really hot. Kinyan shook his head. He had six infinite gems, as if he had a huge amount of wealth befalling him but he had no way to squander this huge amount of wealth. This feeling made him very uncomfortable. After looking at it for a while, he hung infinite gems on the wall again, looking at it every day, as a motivation to improve his strength. Kinyan returned to the chair, lay down, felt the strength of his own body, thanks to the help of the system, and the addition of Thanos this time. The stronger the strength of the Dark Legion, the greater their improvement. Thanos, Corvus Clay Ive, and Ebony Moore are also good. The surrender of Thanos alone has made him improve his original strength by leaps and bounds, and now he is only a step away from the god of creation. I don't know who will recruit the men in black organization next time. The recruitment cannot stop, and we must find people with potential and good strength. Kinyan couldn't think of a good candidate for a while, and began to search for content such as the Marvel movies he had seen before. Finally, Lock on Asgard. Thor's hometown, there are talented people Loki, and Thor's sister Hela. Even if a dead camel is bigger than a horse, Odin is still a good choice, why not in District 9? Thinking of this, Kinyan has secretly decided that Asgard is the first choice and it is also close to the Earth. Just by opening the Bifrost Pole you can instantly reach Asgard. It is very convenient and fast, and there is no need to find other types and civilizations in other universes. Receive the host's idea. The daily task is refreshed. 1. Conquer Asgard and let all the people of Kyushu surrender under their feet. Reward the Axe of Thor. 2. Slaughter Asgard. Kill 60% of the people of Kyushu, and reward the Godslayer, a weapon capable of cutting at the subatomic level. Just when Kinyan had an idea, the system immediately suggested it in Kinyan's mind. Huh? What kind of crap is the Axe of Thor? What would I want it for? If you want to do it, make a big sum and kill all the people of Kyushu. Isn't it wonderful? Kinyan's expression reveals a murderous intent, although he also seems to have as good in his pocket, but compared with this Godslayer, it is not at the same level. After much deliberation, Kinyan finally chose the second task. The existence of the Godslayer can give him a handy weapon. Usually holding high-tech spears and cannons, you can't show your prestige at all. If you want to do it, you can be a general who overcomes obstacles, holding top-notch weapons, and beheading the entire universe. Kinyan fantasized, and the smile on his face became even stronger. Thor, don't blame me 290, blame the system if you want to, that's the task the system gave me, 
I have no choice, Kinyan secretly muttered in his heart, if Thor hears it, he will be pissed off, obviously there is still a task to choose. But Kinyan chose not to choose for the reward. Instead, I chose mission 2, which is full of killing paths, and it will be Asgard's nightmare. There is still a lot of time to make adequate responses, so don't be too anxious. In the next three days, the organization of the man in black underwent changes and adjustments. Tony Stark, one of the employees, was now in full swing to study the technology of the man in black. He wants to research the technological products of the men in black, so that they can be used in Tony Stark industry, and take Tony Stark industry to another level. Thinking of this, Tony has an inexhaustible motivation all over his body, and he is eager and eager to develop every product. In the end, he found that the technological products and level of the men in black organization were many levels higher than his own, which made him surprised and scared for a while. However, more excited, Tony is going to become a technology madman through and through. Boss, Tony has been making some small moves in private recently, I don't know if I should report to you. Chapter 136 Kenyan's Request An employee of the men in black immediately reported to Kenyan that he had recently discovered that Tony was in a daze, and was desperately studying the technology of the men in black organization. This made him really not know what to do, because the technology of the men in black belonged to the men in black. Even if Tony was an employee of the men in black, he shouldn't have the authority to research technology. The most important thing is that the technology developed by Tony is to improve his own outside industry, which makes him even more afraid to let Tony continue. In the end, I had no choice but to respond to Kinyan as soon as possible, and asked Kinyan to wait a little longer to see if Tony should continue to study, or what. Huh? What's Tony doing? Can you tell me about it? Based on Kinyan's understanding of Tony, there is a high probability that it is something related to technology, otherwise, what little tricks could Tony have hidden under his nose? That is obviously impossible. Kinyan still has a little understanding of the employees under him, especially after seeing the experience of Marvel. For the original crew of Avengers, he has a deeper understanding of them. He is researching technology, and then sending it to the Tony Stark industry outside. Should we stop it or not? What should we do? The employee said honestly. He scratched his head. He couldn't be the master in this regard. Let him study it, as he is like, I don't know how many years it will take to study it, maybe it will not come out after studying it to death. Kinyan is not talking nonsense, the rewards given to him by the system, those products of technology, are completely ahead of the entire era by how many years, hundreds or even thousands of years. Even if you put the real thing in front of you, it depends on whether Tony has the ability to research it and use it in the property under his name. That is not an easy thing. Ah, are you sure, boss? Our technology is precious, what will we do if it is successfully researched by Tony? The employees shouted anxiously, talking about the research and invention of technology, in New York, Tony is undoubtedly the first person, nobody can do it better than him, can't research until death, you underestimate Tony, Kinyan saw his thoughts through the eyes of the employees, and Kinyan spoke unhurriedly, it's okay, don't worry, Tony can't research it out, let him do it and don't ask me for this matter in the future. As an employee of the men in black, you are relatively free, as long as there is no threat to the organization, you can do anything. Kinyan didn't pay too much attention to this aspect, and the employees saw that the boss agreed, so he was embarrassed to say anything. Kinyan squinted his eyes. He wanted to find Thor and reach Asgard through Bifrost, which can be said to be the most prosperous area in Kyushu. There is no other kingdom or kingdom that can be compared to Asgard, it's just not a good world this time. Next, what awaits them will be a bloodbath, soon. Kinyan found Thor in a bar in New York. Thor, why have you been here for so long recently? When are you going back to Asgard? Thor finishes the glass of beer in front of him and shakes his head. I don't know. Asgard can come back whenever he wants. I have to pick a time when I go back to my own home. How is that possible? Thor smiled, thinking back to what he had done in Asgard. How good it was. It's just that there is one thing on the earth that traps him firmly, that is. The delicious beer in front of him. In Asgard, there is no beer made of malt sugar at all and it is all fruit wine or the like. Compared with beer, it does not feel of the same grade or taste. Although the fruit wine made in Asgard is processed through many methods, compared with beer, he feels that beer tastes better. And fried chicken. How in the world is there such delicious food? Sweet and delicious, crispy and addictive, although every fried chicken is full of oil. But for food lovers, it is really hard to come by. No, I want to go to Asgard recently. Do you have any idea to go back? Kinyan smiled and ordered a glass of beer, raised the glass and asked Thor. Thor narrowed his eyes, and glanced at Kinyan, a leader of the men in black organization. What is the purpose of going to Asgard? Do you have any plans? Thor had to think about the worst. The ability of the men in black organization showed that it was a product no less than a cosmic civilization, and the existence of strength and technology was close to a powerful cosmic civilization. This made him wonder for a while, what Kinyan came to Asgard for. Dot 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 it's okay. I definitely want to go to Wonderland for a while, I just solved a big trouble like Thanos, I naturally want to relax, 
How about it? Any thoughts on taking me on a tour of your realm in Asgard? Kinyan said with a smile. The harmless appearance of humans and animals is really confusing. Okay, since you have such an idea, then I will take you back to Asgard to take a look, just in time for my father to see you, the leader of the Men in Black organization on Earth. He is not often seen. I don't know how many years ago, Kyushu was defeated by the real Odin. His strength can be said to be unpredictable. I heard that there is an organization of Men in Black on the Earth. I can't help but have some thoughts in my heart. I want to meet the leader of the Men in Black organization, but after Thor just arrived on Earth. He drank beer and ate fried chicken, and completely forgot about these things. Now reminded by Kinyan, he suddenly remembered the things Odin gave him. And he also wanted to go back to Asgard, Nanyu Ozao, to see if his younger brother Loki has made any small moves recently. For this younger brother Loki, Thor loves and hates it. He loves it because his younger brother grew up with him since he was a child, and he has been with him for countless days and months. I hate it, because before Odin died, Loki already coveted the throne of Asgard and wanted to provoke a war in Kyushu. At ordinary times, there are often some small actions under his hands, colluding with other countries in Kyushu, but every time they are so well concealed that Thor can't find any clues at all. But, with Thor's intuition, it's easy to guess what Loki is up to. Therefore, every time Thor sees Loki, he feels very complicated in his heart. Why is it so urgent that they are born with the same root? Then tell me the time, let's go directly to Asgard, I really want to visit your father. Odin is the father of God. Chapter 137, Asgard, Kinyan said complimentingly. But he didn't know that from the moment Thor agreed, it was tantamount to leading the snake out of the hole. The appearance of Kinyan in Asgard will bring a heavy disaster to the entire Kyushu. Anytime, we can go now, Thor chuckled, and stretched out a hand to rest on Kinyan's shoulder, a rainbow-colored light enveloped the two of them. In the next second, Kinyan's field of vision has changed drastically, and the former bar at the moment has become a beautiful scene. I already knew that Asgard was beautiful. But I didn't expect that when I saw it with my own eyes, it really opened my eyes. The singing of birds and the fragrance of flowers are like a new world. It's so beautiful here. Kinyan sighed and said, Thor laughed loudly. Then definitely, this is a place built by my father himself, how can it not be beautiful? The majestic and magnificent Asgard appeared in the sight of the two. Boom. A figure appeared in front of them was Heimdall. You're back. As Heimdall said, he looked at Kinyan up and down in his eyes, and Kinyan in front of him had a feeling that he couldn't see through. Thor nods, humanity, this is the leader of the men in black on earth, if you want to visit Asgard, I will show him, my father also wants to meet him, 460, Heimdall listened and nodded, he also heard some news about the men in black organization on earth, the organization that appeared out of nowhere has a super technological level, Asgard observes the earth all the time, so he naturally knows all about it, go, Heimdall, please show me Jane, okay, no problem, once Heimdall has something, I will let you know as soon as possible, Thor made a small request, Jane is his lover in the earth, but there is no way, he has no way to choose to see her, or he dare not see Jane in his heart. After all, there is a gap between man and God, and the gap is like the sky, unreachable. Heimdall's answer satisfied Thor, and the smile on Thor's face widened a bit when Kinyan heard this. He was stunned, Jane, as far as he knows. The Tie Particles will possess Jane in the future, and when the Tie Particles appear on Jane, the Dark Elves will attack Kyushu again. Thinking of this, Kinyan showed a smile. What's the matter with Kinyan? Did you see something? Why, Kpi, smiled nicely. Thor asked Kinyan curiously. Kinyan nodded thoughtfully. With the invasion of the Dark Elves, coupled with Loki's secret contact with the giants of Jotunheim, coupled with Kinyan's means, it will be difficult for Kyushu not to fall. Yeah, Asgard really opened my eyes. The technology of our men in black organization may not be as good as Asgard. No way, the men in black organization is also very strong. I have seen your methods and they are not worse than our Asgard. It's just that you have too few people, and our Asgard has people from Kyushu. Thor said quite proudly, this is his glory as an Asgard. Take me inside, Asgard, I really want to have a good time. Kinyan squinted his eyes and said unhurriedly, Asgard has a protective cover, and the key to the protective cover is Heimdall, and the second is that there is a main hub in Asgard, which affects the protective cover. If we can find out where the main hub is, once the Dark Elves and Giants of Jotunheim invade, it will be a disaster for Kyushu. Kinyan wants to probe to see if he can find the main hub of the shield. Okay, let me show you around, Thor said cheerfully. The two walked for half an hour, and visited all the big and small places in Asgard, and the last one was Wang Yi. A royal palace stands in the middle of Asgard, which is the symbol of Asgard. Inside is the key to governing Asgard and Kyushu. Odin is inside. This is our palace, Thor took Kinyan outside, and when he got a closer look, he felt the grandeur of the palace even more. It is no exaggeration to say that Kinyan couldn't help being surprised by the towering aura. The men in black organization can also establish such a base in the future. TSK TSK TSK, how magnificent. People are shocked when they see it. Definitely, this is just a small idea of Kinyan, 
and it is still impossible to realize on the Earth. It is only possible to move the men in black organization to other planets collectively in the future. Maybe it is still possible. Come on, my father has long wanted to see you. Question mark. Thor looked at a handsome man in dark green robe not far away. This is his younger brother Loki. You will come back. When walking forward, Loki said without raising his head, and didn't give Thor a direct look, while Loki's gaze was fixed on Kin Yun. Hey, my brother, it seems that you still can't change your old problem, that is, you like to make friends with human beings, just like last time. Loki didn't have much interest in Kin Yun either. He just showed a disdainful expression after sensing that Kin Yun was a human being. Human beings are my friends, Loki, if you have nothing to do, get out of the way, I'm going to see my father. Loki stepped away with a sinister smile on his lips. He had recently received news that he wasn't actually Odin's son at all. He is the giants of Jotunheim. Years ago, when the giants of Jotunheim invaded, Odin led Kyushu to resist, and finally found a baby, so he brought the baby back to Asgard and raised him. That baby is Loki. Loki, who got the news, was relieved. Why his father Odin had expected a lot from Thor for many years, but he didn't care about him at all. It turned out to be such a relationship. The blind eyes and humiliation he received over the years planted the seeds of hatred in Loki's heart. Loki. Revenge. Take revenge on all Asgard, all continents. Let all Kyushu surrender under his feet, and kill Odin and his brother Thor at the same time. Thinking of this, Loki couldn't help being excited. His whole body was trembling, and his eyes were full of excitement. That was my younger brother Loki just now. He has a weird temper. Don't worry about it. You can pretend you didn't see him. When you see him, it's okay. I'm actually very good at dealing with people with weird tempers. You know my employees in the Men in Black, they all have weird tempers but they get along very well with me. Kin Yun shrugged indifferently, could he not understand Loki's thoughts? The feelings in his heart have been completely distorted. Chapter 138 Testing each other As long as Loki is given a chance, it will bring disaster to Asgard. The invasion of the giants of Jotunheim alone is enough to make Asgard drink a pot, let alone the giants of Jotunheim plus the Dark Elves. The heavy blow to Asgard will be will be very serious. That's good, that's good, let's go in and talk. Looking at the soldiers patrolling around, they saluted slightly when they saw Thor. Asgard's soldiers are well trained, and each one is very burly, wearing tall armor and holding sharp knives. After twisting and turning, he came to the innermost part of the palace, and a tall throne appeared in Kin Yun's field of vision, on which sat a white-haired old man with a blindfold on his right eye. It's the same as the Studeg of Director Nick. It's ridiculous. Kin Yun muttered to himself. Odin's eyes are similar to Director Nick's eyes. Father, I brought Kin Yun from the men in black organization. Odin squinted his eyes, nodded his head and looked up and down Kin Yun. Odin has a majestic majesty of a king. Just looking at the body of this old man, we would know that he was fought in the battlefield for many years and unified Kyushu. Now in his old age, he still has a murderous look and the majesty on his body. The way Kin Yun looks at Odin makes people feel awe. Kin Yun smiled slightly. I am Kin Yun from the Men in Black organization, and I am here to visit Asgard and participate in the Father of God. Kin Yun said respectfully, Odin still has a few talents, if he is younger. His absolute strength is not easy. With Valkyrie under his command, thousands of people in Kyushu, Thor Hela is not a simple god among his children. Hela is still sealed by Odin now. Kin Yun has a quick mind, if the Dark Elves and the Giants of Jotunheim invade Asgard together, if you add a fire, it will be Hela. Hela is very dissatisfied with Odin's methods, and his strength is close to that of Odin, so Odin has no choice but to seal Hela. Once the seal of Hela is released, it will be extremely troublesome for Asgard. Kin Yun is well aware of all this, they don't know that Hela is weakening his shackles bit by bit, and they will be able to break through the seal in time. At that time, the whole of Asgard will surrender here. Okay, please take a seat. With a big wave of Odin's hand, a small throne appeared beside Kin Yun, and he took Kin Yun with him enthusiastically. There is also some delicious fruit and wine on top of the small throne. I've heard about the leader of the men in black organization for a long time. I didn't expect him to be so young. I really didn't expect it. Odin said cheerfully. He thought it was a demigod or god to create an organization like the men in black. Because there is still a lot of power in the core of the earth, many gods covet the power of the earth. However, because too many gods are staring at the earth, the earth has always been a sweet pastry, but no one dares to move it. Once someone makes a move rashly, without enough strength, it is completely not enough to touch the earth, and it will affect the whole body. And I don't want to be the target of public criticism. One god can't deal with too many gods. What's more, there are gods like Asgard, who haven't touched the earth much and those little gods don't have any courage. The father of God is not old at all, I can still feel the divine power and murderous aura in you, I must have been a general who fought on the battlefield many years ago. Kin Yun said it very flatteringly, anyway. He didn't reach out to hit the smiling face, not to mention that Odin enjoyed the words quite a bit. Odin slowly closed his eyes, took a deep breath, and felt the thrill of fighting in the battlefield when he was young. Kyushu was still in chaos at the beginning, because he led the people of Asgard to rule Kyushu bit by bit. 
The difficulty can be imagined, Thor was stunned. He didn't expect Kenyan's few words to make his further Odin have such a big reaction. Usually, Odin loves them very much, but he never showed such an expression. He couldn't help giving Kenyan a thumbs up secretly in his heart. Such a person deserves to be the leader of the men in black organization. As a god, he can't do this. Hey, I'm old. I'm no longer young. I think it was difficult to find my opponent in the entire Kyushu when I was young. Those who were conquered by me all surrendered to my feet, and they dared not resist at all. A smile appeared on Odin's face. He was really too crazy when he was young, and now he still has his reputation in Kyushu. Not old, not old. Dot 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 asking for flowers. Kinyan and Odin were courteous, and they chatted for a long time. They chatted for noon, and in the evening, because of Kinyan's arrival, Odin specially held a large banquet. That night, Laughter resounded throughout Asgard. Kinyan and Odin feel as if they met each other, it feels like a year-end friendship. Thor and the others were stunned for a moment, and those who didn't know thought that Kinyan and Odin had known each other for many years. Bad hospitality, bad hospitality. Odin picked up the wine glass and walked to Kinyan's side. He looked at this earthling, but felt that he couldn't see through Kinyan at all. Even stronger than Thor in terms of strength. Can such a degree be achieved for a small earthling? Dot 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 zero. This made Odin feel unbelievable so he wanted to explore more secrets about Kinyan. But chatting and chatting, it seems that the chat is very hot, but they didn't talk about any key information points. I heard that the Earth was invaded by Thanos some time ago, and you blocked it? The Men in Black organization is really powerful. Odin asked with a smile, he wanted to know how the Men in Black organization could resist me. He was still asleep at that time, not knowing what happened at all. But after receiving the information, he found that Kinyan led the Men in Black organization to stop Thanos, and he didn't know the rest. Relying on some small means, if you don't have two brushes, how dare you create the men in black organization? Have you studied technology? Right. Then can you see what is unique about my kingdom? There is a protective shield. And that Bifrost should also be energy absorbing all the time, right? Use energy to supplement the protection of the palace? After Kinyan said all this, there was a strangeness in Odin's eyes. He didn't expect Kinyan to see it easily. This is as good's secret, only a few people know and those people are all people close to Odin. But he really didn't expect that Kinyan could say so much. As everyone knows, Kinyan probably knows more about Asgard than Odin does. With a full perspective, what else does he not know? Chapter 139 Jane's Disappearance How did you find out, young man? Odin asked Kinyan curiously. He had heard that Thor just took Kinyan around Asgard. Kinyan had never been to Asgard before. Could it be possible to discover the secrets of Asgard just by taking a look around? This must be too amazing. Odin was very surprised in his heart but still looked at Kinyan calmly on the surface, hiding his emotions deeply in his heart. This is what our men in black organization should do. As the leader of the men in black organization, I have seen a lot of things. Bifrost is connected to the palace. Kinyan showed a playful smile. This is just the beginning. If you want to make a big splash in Asgard, you must make Asgard more chaotic. Listening to 833, Odin just nodded and didn't say anything more. Come on, let's hold up the wine glasses and toast our guests from afar. Kinyan, the leader of the Earth men in black organization is really a man beyond his appearance. Odin stood up slowly, picked up the wine glass, and shouted loudly. Other people in the banquet also raised their wine glasses one after another, and all of them focused on Kinyan. They really wanted to take a look. What kind of person can make Odin attach so much importance to him? Loki in the crowd looked at Kinyan slightly hostilely. The giants of Jotunheim are about to invade, and I don't know whether Kinyan's arrival is good or bad. Damn it! I must not let this earthling ruin my good deed. Loki whispered in his heart that he had already discovered the secret, so he secretly reached an agreement with the giants of Jotunheim. After they invaded Asgard, they caused chaos in Kyushu. If Thor and Odin are captured alive, then the decision will be handed over to Loki. Loki doesn't want anything from Asgard, he just wants the life of his dear father and brother, that's all. Naturally, the giants of Jotunheim agreed to this request. While Asgard was singing and laughing, the men in black organization far away on Earth suddenly detected a strange energy in New York. Huh? Where does this energy come from? Quickly detect, quickly detect, that energy is very huge, it seems to be full of dead energy. An agent shouted loudly, he looked at the instrument in front of him. His work inside the men in black organization was to detect the changes and fluctuations of the Earth at any time. Unexpectedly, he just suddenly discovered that a strange energy appeared on the Earth, which made him at a loss for a while. Soon, he reacted immediately and wanted to trace the source of this energy through the instrument. However, the fluctuation of energy disappeared in an instant, never to be seen again. Report, not tracked down, maybe it's just a small movement. Yeah, don't make a fuss, Thanos' invasion of the Earth has not caused any damage to the Earth, so don't worry too much. Hearing what the surrounding employees said, the agent could only nod his head. However, there was still some uneasiness in his heart. I still have to report it up, and there must be no mistakes. If there is a follow-up to this energy fluctuation, it may still be quite troublesome. 
The agent was dedicated to his duties, and felt that no matter what happened to the matter, even if the energy appeared only for a short while, he still had to report it back to Kenyan quickly. Let Kenyan make the decision. In Osgood, Heimdall, who was supposed to be guarding Bifrost, suddenly appeared at the banquet, but fortunately, no one noticed. He walked to Thor's side silently, and whispered, Jane, I can't see it. Thor glanced at Heimdall in surprise, and Heimdall looked at Thor worriedly, and Thor's face collapsed instantly. I'll go with you, don't let people notice. Heimdall nodded, Thor put down his glass silently, and left from the crowd. Kenyan watched Thor leave with narrowed eyes while drinking. What's the matter with Thor? What's the matter with Heimdall? Could it be? Kenyan thought of something for a while, but he didn't dare to confirm it. He planned to wait a little longer, and after the banquet was over, he would ask Thor again to find out. See if you can find anything out of Thor. Boss, boss, please reply if you receive it. Please reply if you receive it. The communication headset on Kenyan's body suddenly made a sound. Kenyan tapped the headset on his ear. Say, what's the matter? Suddenly found a trace of abnormal energy fluctuations on the earth, but I couldn't find it in the next second. The abnormal energy fluctuated greatly, and the instrument felt the dead energy and the energy, so it shouldn't be a product of the earth. I will continue to follow up and send someone as soon as I find out. Kenyan thought about it thoughtfully, and then smiled lightly. What makes Heimdall and Thor so anxious is obviously that Heimdall is standing on Bifrost and cannot see Thor's girlfriend Jane on earth and the abnormal energy fluctuations detected by the men in black organization are obviously Thai particles. Thai particles are already adsorbent on Jane, so Heimdall cannot see Jane during this time. If you think about it like this, you will be able to figure it out in an instant, and everything can be explained completely. Ha ha, I really dozed off and sent the pillow, and there is nowhere to find it after wearing iron shoes. It didn't take much effort to get it. I thought I would stay in Asgard for a while, but I didn't expect this time to come soon. The Dark Elves invaded Asgard because of the Thai particles on Jane. The Dark Elves wanted to get the Thai particles, and then plant the entire universe into darkness. Kinyan was secretly delighted. The system task entrusted to him was to destroy the creatures in the entire Kyushu. 3.4 I thought it would take some time for the Dark Elves and Giants of Jotunheim to invade Asgard. However, everything sped up. Jane will be brought back to Asgard by Thor, and as for Loki, Kinyan has a good idea. While drinking the wine, Kenyan's smile became even stronger. Everything is going according to his plan, and there are even some things in Invisible that are pushing his plan to succeed. The demise of Asgard is not far away, and Odin's rule over Kyushu will undergo earth-shaking changes. Everything is developing step by step, but Odin, the father of God, has not noticed at all that he is still immersed in the current rule. On the surface, Kyushu is a thriving situation, but behind the scenes, there are already turmoil, and it just needs an opportunity. Dot. Chapter 140 Reunion Once the time is ripe, it will usher in a devastating blow to Asgard, and everything will come soon. Thor and Heimdall walked out of the banquet. Thor asked Heimdall nervously. Heimdall, how can you not see Jane? What is the situation? It can be seen from Thor's nervousness that Thor's feelings for Jane really put Jane in his heart. Heimdall shook his head slowly, and disbelief appeared in his eyes. I don't know. I don't know the specific situation. You asked me to watch Jane, and I always watch. However, just now, Jane's figure suddenly disappeared. This is the first time I have seen such a situation. Heimdall told the truth, through his eyes, he can see all over the universe. However, the price is also extremely heavy. But looking at the earth is easy. He believes in his own eyes, and he can see the essence of everything through his own eyes. Where was she last seen? It's an abandoned factory. I don't know anything about it other than 21. I can send you there, and the rest will be left to you. However, you have to think about it carefully. Asgard seems to be a little bit uneasy now, you have to come back as soon as possible. Thor nodded slowly, he knew he had to go this time. He turned his head and looked at the palace in the distance. Take me there, I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'll tell you everything. Thor spoke firmly, and Heimdall didn't say any more when he saw this. Wish you luck. The two walked to Bifrost. Heimdall pulled out the guardian sword, and a rainbow light appeared on Thor's body. In the next second, Thor had disappeared and appeared in the abandoned factory where Jane last appeared on Earth. Thor went outside the abandoned factory saw a lot of police cars, and saw a few of Jane's friends. He understood that Jane's disappearance had been going on for some time. The flow of time in Asgard is not the same as the flow of time on Earth. Thor didn't ask Jane's friends, but went to the abandoned factory. He closed his eyes tightly, took a deep breath, and then a divine force felt the entire abandoned factory. He found where Jane was last seen. He rushed the quickly and found that it was in the middle of the abandoned factory. Looking at the surrounding pillars, he could feel that there seemed to be an enchantment inside. Unable to see this barrier, he tried to reach out, but found a violent attraction attracting himself again. He understood that Jane was probably trapped in the barrier, and Thor had no choice for Jane, so he stretched out his hand and walked in slowly. His eyes went dark, and the next second he was still in the abandoned factory, but not in the original abandoned factory, but in a different space. 
Jane, where are you? Simple, Thor shouted loudly, with the help of divine power. It resounded throughout the abandoned factory. I'm here. A faint voice sounded from the corner of the abandoned factory, and Jane couldn't believe her ears when she heard Thor's voice. But after hearing several times, she was sure. Thor ran quickly, only to see Jane lying on the ground with a pale face, and quickly helped Jane up. What's your situation? How are you now? Get out with me. Thor holds Jane and tries to break through the barrier with Mjolnir. Boom. In the next second, it appeared in the real world. Jane, how is your health? Thor asked Jane worriedly. Who knew that Jane raised her hand to slap Thor, snapped. A slap is crisp and sweet. Thor stared blankly at Jane. And Jane embraced Thor and kissed and embraced passionately. I was just making sure you were Thor, how long has it been since you haven't come to me? Thor looked at Jane apologetically. Women are really fickle, turning faces is faster than turning books. Thor has unspeakable suffering in his heart. As a god, it is difficult to fall in love with human beings. The lifespan of gods is eternal. Birth, old age, sickness and death will not occur in them but human beings will. Moreover, it is not a good thing for human beings to stay with God for too long. Jane looked at Thor's expression and knew that Thor had something difficult to hide, so she didn't press the question anymore. There is nothing more happiest than having a loved one in front of your eyes. Your body is still very weak, I don't know what's going on with you. Seeing that Jane didn't ask much, Thor asked Jane anxiously. But Jane disappeared all of a sudden, and Heimdall couldn't even see her. This problem is too serious. And the first time he saw Jane, Jane's face was pale, so it was hard for him not to worry. It's okay, I don't know what's going on, I just feel that this abandoned factory has an inexplicable attraction to me. When I came here, I suddenly fell into a coma. When I woke up, I saw you. Jane doesn't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but she's in a great mood to see Thor. No. I'd better take you to Asgard and let them show you. Thor is still worried about Jane's body, he doesn't know what happened to Jane, but it's better to take Jane to Asgard just to be on the safe side. As everyone knows, bringing Jane back to Asgard will bring disaster to Asgard. Jane nodded, Thor hugged Jane, and a rainbow of 073 colors appeared on the two of them. It was Heimdall. After they disappeared on the earth, a figure came out of the abandoned factory with a pale face and a smug smile on the corner of his mouth. He looked up in the direction of Asgard. Thai particles have been seen again, the time to invade Asgard has come. Odin, we shall meet again soon, and then I shall strangle my throne in the palace of Asgard. It's just a matter of time, he muttered, and then disappeared into the darkness and it was difficult to find his figure on the earth. When he returned to Asgard, the banquet was over. Heimdall squinted his eyes and looked at Jane in Thor's arms, slightly surprised, because, in his sight, he couldn't see what happened to Jane. It seems to appear in the last second and disappear in the next second. Heimdall frowned slightly, becoming more and more unable to see through Jane. You can come back safely, I know you have a lot of things to do, do it. There is energy in her body, I can't feel the specifics. Heimdall patted Thor's shoulder and didn't say much. He continued to lower his head and look at Kyushi with his Heimdall's eye. Thor nodded, hugged Jane and ran towards the room of the Queen of the Palace, Frigga. Dot. Chapter 141 Showdown When they walked to the palace, a figure in a dark green robe looked at Thor and Jane in the dark. This person was Loki, and a faint smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. What? Are you looking at your brother and sister-in-law? Don't you love your brother very much? Suddenly, a voice sounded behind Loki, and the sudden sound made Loki shiver involuntarily. He turned his head to look at the visitor but he didn't expect it to be Kenyan who was being treated as a distinguished guest. My business doesn't seem to have anything to do with you. Does it? When you come to Asgard to shop, you can shop with peace of mind. I hope you know what to do and what not to do. Loki snorted coldly, and said in an unhurried manner, he looked at Kenyan with hostility in his eyes. He can't see through the person in front of him. But from Thor and Odin's attitude towards Kenyan, he doesn't like Kenyan in front of him very much. There is a contradiction in Loki's heart. He wants the recognition and love of his brother Thor and further Odin, but he never feels it. The seeds of hatred were planted in his heart. Therefore, after knowing that he is a child of the giants of Jotunheim, the hatred in his heart has reached the limit, gradually distorting his heart. He wants to kill Thor and Odin, the only way to prove himself. This deformed concept filled Loki with contradictions. Kinyan didn't tell the truth, he shrugged indifferently. Don't have so much hostility towards me, I know exactly what you are thinking in your heart. And I just came here to choose to help you. You are hostile to me so it is difficult for me to help you. Kinyan spoke to Loki earnestly, he already knew what Loki was thinking. Loki squinted his eyes, feeling a little uneasy in his heart. Kinyan's appearance didn't seem to be a simple visit to Asgard, it was as simple as visiting. Loki took a deep breath, still showing that faint smile on his mouth, but it wasn't a smile on the surface. What do you want to do? Why don't you tell me what I'm thinking in my heart, and I'll see if it's the same as what I'm thinking in my heart. There was a killing intent in Loki's eyes, as long as Kinyan really guessed the thoughts in his heart. He would not have any hesitation. Kill the person in front of you. Even if Thor and Odin pursue it, Loki will still be able to remove the suspicion from himself, 
He is 100% sure, if there were no two brushes, he would have been discovered long ago, and he would have been expelled from Asgard by Odin. Without diamonds, there is no porcelain work. You are a child of the giants of Jotunheim, and Frigga is your adoptive mother. You want to use the giants of Jotunheim to kill Thor and Odin to prove that you are the strongest. Kinyan said lightly. Loki's pupils were wretched. Boom. Loki stretched out his left hand and strangled Kinyan's throat viciously against the wall. The impact made Kinyan unable to react for a while, but fortunately, his body was already only a step away from the Quan Shi God. No damage was done to Kinyan's body. Loki took out a dagger with his right hand, and gently stroked Kinyan's face. Who the hell are you? If you don't tell me, I don't suggest that I have another life on my hands. Humble earthlings. Loki said coldly, the killing intent in his eyes could no longer be hidden. Ha ha. I got it right. It's useless for you to kill me. Do you think others didn't find out? Kinyan spoke unhurriedly. Loki was slightly taken aback, and couldn't help asking himself in his heart. Could it be, that I did it so carefully, has anyone discovered it? Besides, do you think you can kill me? Kinyan smiled faintly, stretched out his hand and pinched Loki's hand on the neck fiercely, like a pair of big iron tongs, making it impossible for Loki to break free. Kinyan fell to the ground slowly, his eyes full of contempt. Although Loki is a god, he can only be regarded as the lowest god in terms of physical strength, ability and force. It is mainly because of Loki's brain and his strategy that he never does things that he is not sure of, and at the same time he never fights with others head on, and always chooses to fight secretly and secretly. Once shot, the goal is to kill with one blow, and there will be no possibility of fighting the enemy head on. A successful assassin, Loki can take on the title. Can Yun let go of Loki's hand slowly, only to see that there was a red mark on Loki's hand? and Loki couldn't help being surprised by Kinyan's strength. He couldn't see through Kinyan in front of him more and more, Kinyan kept his hands behind his back, and continued talking unhurriedly. Before colluding with Thanos and wanting to occupy the Earth, but it was just a dream. You didn't expect the appearance of Avengers, and you were devastated. Kinyan was talking about the Battle of New York that took place on Earth before. At the beginning, Thanos did not expect to send some soldiers and fleets, but they could not attack Earth. When he made a comeback, he happened to meet Kinyan. It was successfully acquired by Kinyan. Dot 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 after that, you suddenly discovered that you were not from Asgard, but a descendant of the giants of Jotunheim, so you kept hiding, so that others would not know that you had clearly known your own life experience. Thus began a secret collusion with the giants of Jotunheim, wanting to invade Asgard, create chaos in Kyushu, and replace Thor and Odin. Am I right? After Kinyan finished speaking, he looked at Loki contemptuously, and Loki looked at Kinyan's eyes, feeling angry in his heart. However, what Kinyan said shocked him again and again. It was as if Kinyan was always by my side. Kinyan knew everything that happened to me. What is this? What is the situation of the people on earth in front of them? And the leader of the men in black organization is so powerful. Good luck to the king. Loki was puzzled, and finally Loki sighed helplessly, facing Kinyan who was stronger than himself and knew everything about him. He had no choice. He could only nod his head. Yes, what you said is not wrong, but I don't know where you know these things, and who else knows besides you? Does my brother Thor know? Two, Loki can only choose to accept the fact, and start to use tricks to fight Kinyan in front of him. There is no head-to-head -head strength, but there are still a lot of conspiracy. Kinyan shook his head, and Loki was slightly surprised. They don't know, except you know me, God knows, no one else knows, so don't worry, I won't talk too much. Kinyan smiled and made a zipper gesture on his mouth to promise that he would keep his mouth shut and never talk too much outside. Chapter 142 Reaching a Consensus Loki's expression replied, and then he slowly felt relieved. However, with the curiosity in his heart, Kinyan's strength is obviously not something that a person on earth should have, even stronger than himself. Will such an existence appear on the earth? The answer is obvious. It seems that the men in black organization on earth is much stronger than the so-called Avengers. Just looking at Kinyan, the leader of the men in black organization, he is many times stronger than that Captain America, and Captain America still thinks that he is very good at 50-50 with everyone. It is estimated that I have not met Kinyan. Then you said you want to help, how do you help me? Is it the same as helping me just by talking about it with your mouth? Don't you think I'm too stupid? Loki's pupils shrank slightly, he wanted to test Kinyan's tone, and see what kind of attitude Kinyan really had. If it's a friend, let's deal with Asgard together, if it's an enemy, he has to find a way to deal with Kinyan. Loki can't leave any excuse for himself to be discovered by Thor and Odin. Once Thor and Odin find out, will there be room for him in the entire Kyushu? Loki can't get there yet. He still has a lot to do. Definitely is to help you create chaos. You should know where the giants of Jotunheim's energy source. The ancient East Box, is. Lorf should be 150 and you still have contact. Back then, the war between the giants of Jotunheim and Asgard reached Jotunheim. The giants of Jotunheim don't want to live in Jotunheim forever. Kinyan said it earnestly. At first, 
Jotunheim was only cold and dark. As the king of the giants of Jotunheim, Law wanted to move. Set the target on the earth. Use the locket of the Old East to freeze the entire planet into ice blocks, so it's better to survive with the giants of Jotunheim. However, the king of Esgard, the father of God, Odin, hearing the news, used the Bifrost and giants of Jotunheim to launch an offensive on earth. It has been more than a thousand years since the giants of Jotunheim were repulsed in Jotunheim, and Sophie was forced to sign a peace treaty. In that war, both sides paid a heavy price, and Odin's right eye was stabbed blind in this battle. Now, more than a thousand years later, Sophie wants to make a comeback as king of the giants of Jotunheim. This idea was suddenly probed by Loki, so there was a situation of cooperation between the inside and the outside. Just give the giants of Jotunheim the locket of the Old East to restore their power to its peak once again. It's just that the box of the Old East has always been in Odin's treasury. I know, you don't need to talk about these old sesame seeds and rotten millet, just tell me clearly. How do you want to help me and create chaos? Don't talk too easily. Loki knows that King Yun is powerful, but that is only compared with himself, compared with Thor and Odin, maybe there is still a little gap. As everyone knows, Loki is still unruffled in the face of Odin. If he was not worried about Asgard breaking out of war and fighting him, he would have already provoked it. Now as long as Loki steals the box of the ancient east, let the giants of Jotunheim take it away, and then let the dark elves appear, it's no wonder that the whole of Asgard will not be chaotic. How many are eyeing Odin's throne? Then let the dark elves and giants of Jotunheim, dog eat dog. Thinking of this, Kinyan showed a playful smile, and as good face to giants of Jotunheim is a bit tricky. Now that there is one more dark elf, what kind of ending will that be? I'm afraid that the giants of Jotunheim won't be able to cause actual damage to Asgard, so I added a fire. Does the dark elf know? Kinyan smiled lightly, and said unhurriedly, Dark elf? Hearing what Kinyan said, Loki couldn't help but feel an uproar in his heart. He clearly knew the existence of the Dark Elves. Back then, when the Dark Elves wanted to invade Asgard, they were repelled by Odin and the Asgardians, and the King of the Dark Elves, Malkith, was expelled from Kyushu, lingering in the darkness. For example, Kbae, today the Dark Elves have no leader, and they are not a climate at all, so what is the use of bringing up Dark Elves? The Dark Elves have become that version now. Even if they invaded Asgard, they would just send food to Asgard. What use would they be? A bunch of remnants hash. Ha ha, you really underestimated the Dark Elves. Malkith has returned, and has already set his sights on Asgard. Loki looked at Kinyan slightly differently. Malkith is back. Where did Kinyan get this news, and what is in it? Could it be that Asgard is really not peaceful during this time? Thinking of this, Loki sneered in his heart. What Thor, what the father of God Odin, all will die at my hands. Loki can't wait for Asgard to be in chaos. As long as there is more chaos, there will be room for people like him to play, and at the same time he can successfully replace Thor and Odin. In the hearts of the Asgard people, the status of Thor and Odin has been deeply rooted, although Loki is Odin's son on the surface. As everyone knows, many people in Asgard don't look at him at all. Because the throne of Asgard is a succession system, Odin will be next to Thor when he gets old. And from childhood to adulthood, Odin has been silently cultivating Thor, wanting Thor to become the king who can lead Asgard. And what about myself? I accompany my mother Frigga every day, so for many years, I can only rely on my own mind and the magic I have learned to deal with the enemy. It's not Thor's kind of face-to-face -face confrontation at all, the feeling of opening and closing. Therefore, in the eyes of Asgard people, Thor is the future king of Asgard, and he can only be a minister. Thinking of this, Lugir became very angry. On the surface, they are all their own children. They have raised themselves for so many years, but they have never shown any favoritism towards themselves. Even if he made the same mistake as Thor, in Odin's eyes, he is always the one who did the wrong thing. Is it useful for Malkith to come back? The source of energy for the giants of Jotunheim is the box of the ancient east, but the source of energy for the dark elves is type particles, and now the type particles are not known. Even if the dark elves make a comeback, what's the use? Loki asked Kinyan in puzzlement. Loki was hostile towards Kinyan from the beginning, but now he is slowly relieved. He knows that Kinwai should be a partner of his in the future. Although it is only possible for a short period of time, the goal of the two is very clear, that is to bring down Asgard. Thai particles have appeared, although you didn't see them, but Thai particles did appear again, and they have been discovered by Malkith. Chapter 143 White Lies Kinyan sighed slightly, even if he didn't make a move, after Malkith got the Thai particles, and the giants of Jotunheim got the box of the ancient east. The two of them teamed up. It is still difficult for Asgard to overcome this difficulty. It's a pretty straightforward thing, all about watching Asgard's reign come to an end. As for the other dwarfs in Kyushu, they are completely useless. When the giants of Jotunheim and the Dark Elves start to invade, Asgard just wait to be beaten. Where are the Thai particles? Why don't I know? It seems that your intelligence network is very deep, and you want to help me. Why don't we join hands and give Asgard a cruel destruction? How about it? Loki stretched out his hand slowly, although he doesn't know where Thai particles are now, but he still has a strong interest in Kinyan. As long as we can join hands with Kinyan, 
it will definitely make Asgard's life difficult. Even if there is no action from the Dark Elves, Asgard should also be destroyed in the end. Kinyan took a deep breath, both of them are human beings, can he not know what Loki thinks? Cooperate with himself, even if Asgard is not resolved, but for Loki, there is no harm. Once that fails, Loki will push himself out, leaving him alone. At least Thor still has feelings for Loki, because of this. Loki can definitely wash away the suspicion on himself, no pressure. Thinking of this, the smile on Loki's face grew stronger, he knew his chance was coming. Opportunity to have a go. Tie particles, far away in the sky and close in front of you, you can think about the rest of the matter slowly. What I tell you, you can also tell Odin, but I don't know what Odin will think. This is the end of today's conversation, I will stay in as good for a while, you don't have to think too much, the rest of the matter will come naturally. Kinyan said with a smile on his face then turned and left without paying any attention. Loki stands outside the palace of Asgard, stunned. He was pondering Kinyan's words, far away in the sky and close in front of his eyes. Where exactly is that? We are all smart people, we just need to stop talking, and the rest will develop slowly. Loki took a deep breath, opened his arms, and sighed. Ha ha, Asgard, my time is coming, just wait and see who is the real king of Asgard. In the next second, Loki also disappeared into the darkness. It was as if nothing happened during the night's conversation. Meanwhile, Thor leads Jane to Frigga. Mother, look at Jane's situation, today she suddenly disappeared for a while, and then fell into a barrier. Heimdall said there was energy in her, but he couldn't tell what it was. Thor looked at Frigga with a frustrated face, like a child who did something wrong. He has always been like this since he was a child. In front of his mother, he no longer has to pretend that he is an invincible god of war. He was able to maintain the truest self in front of Frigga. Frigga looked at Jane beside Thor, and took Jane's hand with a smile. Jane, Right? I've heard Thor talk about you many times. I heard that you two are together. It seems that I have to prepare well in the future. Frigga has no heirs in front of Jane, just like a loving mother on Earth. Her kind eyes made Jane relax a lot. She had heard that Thor was going to take her to see his mother, Frigg, and she was a little nervous in her heart, but when she saw Frigg with her own eyes, she was so nervous. She didn't know what to say, and put her hands together. No, no. It's just that I don't know what the energy in my body is. I can't feel it at all. It's like I fell asleep in the enchantment today. Jian said with a long sigh of relief. She told the truth that she did not feel any abnormalities in her body, as if nothing had happened. But she is still an ordinary human being, in front of the gods. She has no idea. It's okay, it's okay, Jane relax, let me feel it. Frigga took a step forward, stretched out her hand to hold Jane's hand, and slowly closed her eyes. Through the magic in the body, you can feel the strangeness of Jane. However, when Frigg's magic appeared on Jane's body, there was a strange feeling in Frigg's heart, which he couldn't express. Ask for flowers. As the Queen of Heaven, this was the first time she saw such a situation, but in order to stabilize Jane, she opened her eyes and smiled lightly. It's nothing, it's just a little energy, you're tired today, I'll arrange room for you to rest early. Don't worry too much. There is nothing we in Asgard can't do. Thor listened to Frigg's words, and the heavy stone in his heart was slowly put down. He clearly knew that his mother, Friggy, would not lie to them. Thor burst into a relaxed smile for a moment, he laughed out loud. Jane, as I said before, my mother is omnipotent, there is nothing wrong with you at all, Heindel is just alarmist. Zero, you are tired after a day of tossing around today, go to rest, and let me take you to Asgard to have a good time tomorrow. It's time for you to experience the customs of Asgard. Thor is in a particularly good mood, and there is a sense of loss in his heart, and his mother, Frigg, has no objection to the two of them being together. Obviously, it is supporting. This puts Thor in a better mood. As long as he has the support of Frigg, Odin can do the follow-up thought work slowly. Thor believes that it won't be long before a love affair between humans and gods will spread throughout Dursgard, and even the entire Kyushu. After listening to Jane, she was relieved a lot, and she nodded slightly towards Frigg. Then I've been bothering you for a while, I'm really sorry. Ha ha, why are you so polite? Coming here is like coming to your own home. Don't worry too much. A good rest is better than anything else and I will leave the rest to my son Thor. Look at his expression, he's more nervous than me. Frigga covered her mouth and smiled. Watching Thor talk about his girlfriend, she was also happy in her heart. Her son was able to find happiness. It doesn't matter whether Jane is from Earth or an ordinary human being, as long as the two of them truly love each other, nothing can stop it. Frigga understands his son Thor's temperament. He will be what he thinks, and there will be no fluctuations at all. Chapter 144 Seeking Help After putting Jane in a room, Thor puts her to sleep and Frigga calls Thor out. Mother, what did you call me? Thor asked Frigg curiously, and Frigg sighed helplessly seeing Thor's ignorant look. She didn't know what to say. As for the situation in Jane's body, she has just used magic to know, and she has no way to sense the energy in Jane's body. In all likelihood, this matter is definitely not that simple. I don't know what is in Jane's body, I think I have to test it out tomorrow. Otherwise, Mother, didn't you just say that there is no problem, 
What is going on? Thor asked Frigga in surprise. Thor at the moment behaved in a daze, like a child holding his head. Even his mother, Frigg, said what to say about the body in Jane 23, and his mind went blank for a while, not knowing what to do. It's okay, it's okay, we as could have a way, you have to believe it. Frigg patted Thor's shoulder, and said with relief. Thor nodded, he believed in his mother Frigg unconditionally. Frigg was relieved for a while, then let Thor go to sleep, and after returning to his room, Frigg sighed long, looking at the starry sky outside the window. She felt powerless for the first time. She still has confidence in her own magic, but when faced with Jane's power, she doesn't know what's going on. She thought about it, and suddenly thought of a person, a person from Earth. Kinyun, who is also an Earthling with Jane, should have some similarities. Asking Kinyun in the past may give you an answer. Frigga thought of this, got up and left the room, regardless of the time to play. Bang bang bang. Kinyun suddenly heard a knock on the door in his room. Looking at the night outside the window, he didn't know what was going on for a while. It's very late now. Is anyone still looking for Loki? While Kinyan was thinking, someone knocked on the door again. Come on, come on, don't worry. Kinyan hurriedly opened the door, only to find that there was Frigga standing outside the door. Friggy looked at Kinyan anxiously, which made Kinyan puzzled for a while. It's late at night, come to your own room, what's the matter? However, Kinyan still invited Frigga into the room. Tanhu, I don't know what's going on, it should be very important to come to me at night, seeing how anxious you are. Kinyan spoke lightly, and poured a glass of water for Frigga unhurriedly. Come on speak slowly. Frigga sat down slowly, with a bitter face. Jane was her future daughter-in-law, she didn't know what to do. Now she felt that she was a bit absurd, to find Kinyan by herself in the middle of the night. However, she heard her husband say before that Kinyan is still a bit capable, as the leader of the Men in Black organization. It can also successfully resist Thanos' invasion of the Earth. Even Odin faced Thanos, which was a very embarrassing situation. Unexpectedly, Kinyan solved it easily. Moreover, Odin spoke very highly of Kinyan. From Odin's perspective, Frigga is very clear about being able to have such a big evaluation of people. Therefore, she still has great hopes for Kinyan. There is a very powerful force on Jane's body. I can't even detect this force with magic. I have no choice but to find you and ask you. Frigga said with a little worry. Kinyan couldn't help smiling when he heard this. What else could the energy on Jane be? Definitely Thai particles. Thai particles that the Dark Elves dream of. Kinyan wants to push the boat along the way. Can't let them absorb the Thai particles and wants to stop it. A thought suddenly appeared in Kinyan's heart. It's okay, it's too late tonight, I'll go and have a look tomorrow. Our technology is very advanced, you can see what energy is on Jane. Maybe it was her adventure, because energy can also improve her body for a period of time. I will go and have a look tomorrow, and maybe I will find something. Kinyan was talking lightly, when Frigga heard tomorrow Kinyan took a look, his eyes lit up for a moment. Okay, if you say that, then I'm relieved. If you can help Jane and stabilize the energy in her body, Asgard will still be able to prescribe her benefits. Frigga is also someone who has seen the big world, she knows that sometimes. The arrival of a wave of energy is not necessarily a bad thing. She believed in what Kinyan said, that the energy in Jane could improve her physical condition. I just don't know whether this energy is bad or good. Fortune and misfortune depend on each other, this is an ancient and invariable truth. Hearing what Kinyan said, Frigga let go of her heart a lot, and she is no longer the same as before. Frigga was only worried that something would happen to Jian Jian which would be a catastrophe for Thor. Thor is her own child. She knows Thor's nature. Once Thor recognizes something, it is what it is. If Jane dies, Thor will definitely not accept it, and who knows what will become of Thor by then. The future king of Asgard is still Thor's. The father of God Odin will be old in the future, and the mantle can only be inherited by Thor. If Thor can't think about it, it will also have a heavy impact on Asgard. Frigg has to get both hands ready, no matter what. Let Kinyan take a look at Frigg's physical condition as the first step tomorrow. Frigg stood up thanked Kinyan, and then left the room. Frigga, who walked out of the room, felt that she had finally relaxed, and she no longer had to worry about Jane's body. It seems that this Kinyan really has some skills, but I don't know how big his skills are at 2.3. If he can help Jane, it will be a blessing for Asgard. Frigg could not help muttering a few words. Ha ha, I took the bait step by step, take your time, Asgard will be destroyed during this time. Take your time, take your time, now is a good start. The smile on Kinyan's face is very strong. Now is just the beginning, there are still many troubles for Asgard to come bit by bit. However, now I finally found a breakthrough, and I was worried that there would be no way to get close to Jane. I didn't expect to be sleepy, so I sent a pillow as the queen. Frigga didn't choose Odin, but chose herself as a human from the earth. It's really interesting. This also gave him a great opportunity, but what he didn't expect was... Dot. Chapter 145, Small Means Frigga, who is a queen, doesn't know that the energy in Jane's body is Thai particles. It's really interesting. The next day, Thor and Frigga came to Kinyan's room early in the morning. They were already in a hurry last night. All came to see Kinyan early in the morning. Opening the door, 
The sleepy Kinyan looked at Thor and Frigga in front of him, dumbfounded. Kinyan, you can only help us now. I heard from my mother last night that you have a way to help Jane. May I ask what it is? Thor asked anxiously. From this we can see Jane's position in Thor's mind. Whether it's a human or a god, it seems that they are sad about the hurdle of love. Seeing Thor's usual stable appearance, he is now anxious. Kinyan yawned and waved his hands indifferently. Don't worry, leave everything to me. If I can't even solve Jane's problems, I might as well just go back to Earth and disband the men in black organization. Hearing this, Thor and Frigga glanced at each other, and they believed even more in their hearts that Kinyan could solve Jane's physical problems. Wait a minute, I'll clean up, you guys go ahead and wait at 21. Kinyan also didn't have any ink stains at all. After tidying up herself, she got up and followed Thor and Frigg towards Jane's room. Outside the house, Jane's muffled hum can be heard, enough to feel that the tie particles in Jane's body are actually destroying her body. Opening the door, I saw Jane lying on the bed, sweating profusely, as if she had experienced several layers of torture. Thor stepped forward to hug Jane, looking at her with distressed expression. It's okay, it's okay, we have found a solution, you wait a while, and then stick to it. After all, Thor looked at Kinyan, he pinned all his hopes on Kinyan. Kinyan, I don't know what you can do to see if the energy in Jane's body is good or bad. It's too huge. I feel like I'm destroying her body. Frigo asked with a puzzled look, the conversation between her and Kinyan last night. She was more inclined to get the energy in Jane's body by chance. May improve your physical condition. However, seeing Jane's frail appearance now, Frigga was a little undecided for a while, and turned to look at Kinyan. Direction, I have my way, you look after it. Kinyan stepped forward, and a wave of energy fluctuations slowly appeared on the palm of his hand. His energy was like X-rays, and he probed Jane's body back and forth several times. Seeing a red light appear in Jane's abdomen, Thor saw this scene and hurried up and down. Stand back, don't affect me. You are too reckless, and it will do no one any good. Kinyan frowned and said to Thor. Thor looked embarrassed and didn't know what to do. Frigga took Thor's hand and took a few steps back. They were facing Jane's bed. He could clearly see what Kinyan did to Jane. What made Frigga very amazed was that she had never seen Kinyan's detection method before. As a queen, she couldn't accurately sense where the energy in Jian's body was by using magic alone. But Kinyan could clearly find out that his magic could not even match the abilities of the people on Earth. Frigga frowned. She believed in the magic she possessed. She stretched out her hand to slightly touch the bed, wanting to feel the energy in Jane's body again through her own magic. Now that it is known that the energy is in Jane's abdomen, it is easier to dig out. A gleam flashed in Kinyan's eyes, and he couldn't help showing a sneer recently. Could he not feel what Frigga did? Tanhu, I hope you don't intervene, lest the two forces collide, and Jane's body won't be able to accept it, then it won't be my fault, Kinyan said earnestly. Thor's attention was all on looking at Jane on the bed before, and he didn't see Frigga's actions at all. Hearing Kinyan say this, he stepped forward quickly and pulled his mother out. Mother, let's trust Kinyan first, Jane's body will not be able to take it if you are like this. Thor said anxiously, Frigga took a deep breath, and nodded slowly. What she wanted to do was to get a layer of double insurance. But Kinyan suddenly noticed it. However, she also felt reasonable after listening to Kinyan's words. If the two energies collided together, it might cause serious damage to Jane's body, and by then the gain would outweigh the loss. Thor. Mother was just too anxious and wanted to check Jane's physical condition, so she didn't notice it for a while. Frigga spoke gently to Thor, and Thor nodded. He understood that his mother was also for his own and Jane's good, so he would not make such a mistake. It's okay, trust Kinyan, Thor said with his hands behind his back, his eyes fixed on Jane. The energy in Kinyan's hands is actually his own means through a series of external releases, so that they can clearly see it. Kinyan also took great pains in order to ensure that tie particles can be in his own hands. His methods must be more secure. Now, he doesn't know where the tie particles should be placed, and they should be stored in Jane's body first. In this way, when the time is right, take out the tie particles from Jane's body to blackmail the Dark Elves. Everything has been taken into consideration by Kinyan. Kinyan's right hand clapped 203 towards Jane's forehead. A seemingly friendly energy entered into Jane's body. Kinyan's face was pale, and he clutched his chest. Okay, I just used my means to inject a burst of energy to protect Jane. The power in her body is for her improvement, so there won't be any big problems. As long as my energy is inside, I will help her absorb this energy all the time. Maybe it won't be long before Jane can become a member of Asgard. Kinyan spoke unhurriedly, Thor and Frigga looked at Kinyan's pale complexion, and understood that Kinyan had used his real skills just now. Otherwise, there is no way to make Kinyan so weak. Thor hurriedly stepped forward to care about Jane, while Kinyan and Frigga walked out of the room, leaving some private space for the two of them. Kinyan. Is that force really good? Can it help Jane improve her body? Frigga asked Kinyan suspiciously. But she still couldn't help beating the drums in her heart. Don't worry, Queen, that power is Jane's opportunity. If you don't want Thor to worry about Jane's birth, old age, 
sickness and death in the future, let her absorb that power. What's more, I have already injected a piece of my energy, which can ensure Jane's absorption and protect her body at the same time, so there will be no major problems. Chapter 146, Queen's Reward. It only takes less than a week, and Jane will undergo earth-shaking changes. When the time comes, you are ready to look forward to it. Kinyan squinted his eyes and said, if he guessed correctly, it would take 5,000 years in Kyushu for a celestial body to gather once in a week. Time and space will then be chaotic, and some wormholes will appear between countries. By that time, it will be difficult for Kyushu to avoid chaos. Moreover, the leader of the Dark Elves, Malkith, is not a fool. He will choose to take action on the day when the celestial bodies converge. Take the Tai Particles from Jane, and try to make the Dark Elves plunge Kyushu into darkness once again. Tai Particles are too important for Malkith. Maybe Malkith of at the moment is already hiding in a corner of Esgid and watching secretly. After listening to what Kin Yun said for a week, Frigga slowly felt relieved. One week is completely insignificant to the time of their gods, and they may remember things in ten or even a hundred years. That's good, thank you again for your shot. When the time comes, I will give you whatever you want to take from the treasure house of the father of God Odin. Frigg said slowly, as the queen of heaven, she has the right to do this life. Really? I really want to visit the treasure house of the father of God Odin. But does Odin agree to this matter? I don't want to cause trouble for myself, after all, this is your territory. Kinyan slightly said unhurriedly, if he could get some good things from Odin's treasury. For example, the box of Old Winter, the source of power of the giants of Jotunheim, which he also wanted very much. There are tens of thousands of blizzards inside the box of the ancient East. Once it breaks out, it will be a terrible existence for any country. The giants of Jotunheim wanted to get their treasure back because the blizzard contained in the box of Ancient Winter had no effect on them. On the contrary, they are their enemies, and they will be even more troublesome if they encounter a snowstorm. Giants of Jotunheim they are good at fighting in the ice and snow. It's okay, I'll go back and talk to Odin about this matter, you just wait. You can go out with Jane and the others, after all, you are our distinguished guest of Tilda. After Frigga said that, she turned and left. Kinyan went back outside Jane's room and knocked on the door. It's me. The person who opened the door was Thor. At the moment Thor was full of happiness. Seeing Jane recovering, he was full of joy in his heart. Kinyan. Do you know what the energy in Jian's body is? I heard from my mother that it might help her. Thor asked with a puzzled face, and Kinyan smiled faintly. Definitely, as a god, what would Thor think if he saw his human friends dying one by one? How pitiful and lonely it is. My energy is protecting her in Jane's body, let her slowly absorb the energy in her body, and she may become a god in time. At that time, wouldn't you be happy if you two stay together forever? The more Kinyan went on, the happier Thor's face became. He had never looked for Jane before and picked up this relationship again. It is because the lifespans of humans and gods are different, and he doesn't want to see Jane by his side. Long-term pain is worse than short-term pain, so Thor can only choose not to see Jane, and let this matter be the same as the past. After many years, he will slowly forget, and Jane will not leave any traces on the earth. However, now that Kinyan said that Jane might become a god, he felt happy for Jane from the bottom of his heart. As long as they become gods, the two of them don't have to worry about the issue of human longevity if they continue to be together. Thank you so much, you will always be my friend and always be a partner in as good. Thor laughed and said, as the saying goes, people are in good spirits on happy occasions. For him, there is no better news than Jane being able to become a god. Okay, your mother told me to visit as good with you during this time. After all, it's the first time for Jane to come to this place, don't you want to take her out for fun? And I'm always by Jane's side, even if Jane suddenly has a problem. I can solve it in time, Kinyan said with a smile, Thor turned his head to look at Jane lying on the bed, flew over with a swoop, and hugged Jane by the waist, he kissed Jane hard on the face, Jane, this is your first time in Asgard, this is my home, I will show you around, and you will stay here in Asgard for a long time in the future, Jane blushed looking at Thor, and then at Kinyan, really, can I really do it, but I am a human being, not a god, and I can only stay here for a few decades, ha ha, what nonsense are you talking about? Didn't you hear what Kinyan said just now? You may become a god in the future. Dot 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 don't worry, you won't have any problems with us in your body, just relax. Thor laughed and said, Jane looked at Thor's excitement, and then at Kinyan standing at the door, Kinyan nodded slightly towards Jane. It is not possible to become a god, it is absolutely possible to become a god, as long as with my help, nothing is impossible. You trust Thor? Trust me too. When Jane heard this, her eyes widened and she pointed at herself. I dot 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 can I really do it? It's true or it's false, you won't collude to deceive me. Jane couldn't believe her ears that she was an ordinary earth human the day before. One day, people tell themselves that they are about to become gods. Could it be possible to become a god by going to the enchantment once? Surely god is too easy to become. Jane's unbelievable look made Thor dumbfounded. His name is Kin Yun, and he is the leader, Zhao Zhao, of a mysterious organization on earth called the Men in Black. He won't lie to you. Moreover, when the energy in your body exploded today, 
He also took action to solve it. You have to thank him for saving his life. As Thor said, Jane ran down from the bed in a hurry, and bowed in front of Kinyun. Kinyun waved his hand lightly, and a wave of energy appeared on Jane's body, helping her up. Watching this operation, Jane's eyes on Kinyun changed a bit. Are you an Earth human too? That's right, so you don't have to worry, I'm also a god. Humans on Earth can become gods, so don't worry. When Kinyun said this, he was laughing in his heart. What kind of god is he? Although he is powerful, he doesn't have any gods or the so-called gods. He is not a god, but his strength is too strong, and he is only a step away from the creation god. Dot. Chapter 147 Jane is not easy to deceive. Really, don't lie to me. After Jane and Thor got acquainted, she did some research on the gods in Norse mythology. She knows that there are gods in this world, but it doesn't mean that just anyone who wants to become a god can become a god. It is more difficult for a man to become a god than to ascend to heaven. Like many people in Asgard, they are not considered gods, they can only be regarded as ordinary magic soldiers, although they carry the word god. But compared with the serious god, it's a world of difference. Kinyan wondered for a while, even a Thor is easy to fool. How easy is it for a small human being to fool you? Dare to question yourself? If Jane is not regarded as the nourishment of type particles, Jane would not have to live long ago, and just die obediently. Kinyan pretended to have a downcast face, looked at Thor, and handed the question to Thor. Thor, what do you think? Your little girlfriend doesn't seem to want to be a god. Your relationship is a bit difficult, Kinyan said earnestly. Thor smiled awkwardly, stood up and patted Jane on the shoulder. Jane, don't think too much, Kinyan said yes, it is absolutely possible. You must not underestimate Kinyan. He is stronger than me. What Thor said was not unreasonable. He also wondered, Kinyan was born out of thin air and is very powerful. This kind of existence is hard to believe, but the existence of dead men is more popular than people. Jane looked at Kinyan with doubts. She was still very hesitation in her heart. She couldn't believe what Kinyan said, but Thor's firm eyes made her feel very stable. Even if she doesn't believe in Kinyan, she will believe in Thor, who will do what Thor says. Then if I want to become a god, how do I become one? According to my understanding, if I want to become a god, I must have the title of a god and the residence of a god. If not, even a god is only a demigod. Jane said honestly, becoming a demigod is of no use at all, and it doesn't help life expectancy or anything. How difficult it is to become a god. Kinyan didn't expect Jane's question to be so tricky, and he couldn't figure it out for a while. However, he can't even deal with a yellow-haired girl like Jane, so he should just return to Earth obediently, and stop trying to set off a bloodbath in Asgard. God's mansion and God's title, Kpfi, are all easy to say. Don't worry, you are backed by Asgard, they have absolute power. Do you not believe in Thor or the father of God Odin? Jane, although you have studied a lot of things before, you are not enough to look at them in front of serious gods. How did they become gods? You haven't even thought of this most basic point. Don't think that if you study a little more, you can gain a great deal of truth. Kinyan spoke earnestly, revealing to Jane inside and out that Thor can solve all problems. If Thor can't, then let Thor's father, the father of God Odin, take care of it. All problems have been solved. Do you really think there is nothing you can do about it? That would be too ridiculous. For a human being on earth, becoming a god is what they dream of, with absolute strength and unlimited lifespan. In other words, Jane's brain circuit is a bit weird. If it were someone else, how could they think so much? What Kinyan and Thor say in front of them is what they say, and they don't even need to think about the right and wrong of things. That's right, Jane, I have everything to do with it as well as my mother and my father. They all have their own solutions. Don't think too much about it. And you think it's too difficult to become a god because you haven't thought about it at all before. If you want to be like me, you've been a god since you were born, what would you think? Thor also spoke anxiously. He was very puzzled in his heart, who knew that the earnest talk for a long time was of no use to Jane at all. Thor couldn't help feeling a bit of dissatisfaction in his heart, but there was nothing he could do. If you don't believe them, you can choose to hand over the energy in your body and I will give the energy to others. Kinyan spoke unhurriedly, a chill flashed in his eyes, Jane couldn't help but shuddered when he saw Kinyan's eyes. Don't, don't, Kinyan, don't. It took so long for such an opportunity to appear, Jane was not sensible before, if she knew the importance of it, she would never say that. Before Jane opened her mouth to speak, Thor suddenly spoke. He didn't want to give Jane the opportunity that was so hard to get. If they disappeared suddenly, the matter of the two of them living together and flying together would have turned into a ball of bubbles. For Thor, it is only necessary for Jane to live longer and longer, to be able to be by his side, without worrying about the so-called birth, old age, sickness and death. Living obediently in Asgard from now on will be a different experience. Maybe I will be the father of God in the future, and you will be the queen. Jane, don't think about it. Thor turned his head and looked at Jane with great sincerity. Jane nodded and said nothing more. The doubts and disbeliefs she said before are all based on her own understanding. However, in front of the two gods, she still believes in what she has researched, instead of believing in the words of God. Jane couldn't laugh or cry in her heart, 
but she realized that Kin Yun is definitely not easy to mess with. Although Kin Yun is also a person from the earth like himself, it is definitely not easy to become a god on the earth. What's more, Kin Yun can also help her suppress the energy in her body. Both Thor and Queen Frigga took special care of Kin Yun, and Kin Yun has a very high status in Jane's heart without realizing it. What a terrifying existence it is for a person who can become a god by himself. However, if Kin Yun knew what Jane was thinking in his mind, he would really be dumbfounded. From Kin Yun's point of view, all she needs to do is to keep Jane steady during this period of time, and the Thai particles in her body will undergo earth-shaking changes. Just wait for Malkith of the Dark Elf to pick it up. It's just that Kin Yun doesn't know where the Dark Elf leader Malkith is now. He still wanted to meet with the other party, after all, in his plan to destroy Asgard, the Dark Elves and Giants of Jochun Heim were indispensable. Could it be that the leader of the Dark Elves, Malkith, has been waiting for the Celestial Fusion? Before the Celestial Fusion occurs, Malkith will never come forward. Kin Yun couldn't help muttering in his heart, for him, he should go and meet the leader of the Dark Elves and the Giants of Jochun Heim. Dot. Chapter 148 The Appearance of Vibranium Several of them have the same goal, they all want to destroy Asgard. As the saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. It's better to work together so that Asgard doesn't have a chance to turn around completely. Thinking of this, the smile in Kin Yun's heart grew thicker, as if he could not let himself make a move. He would not let himself make a move. Sitting behind the scenes, strategizing and winning thousands of miles away. However, it is not yet known where the Dark Elf leader Malkith is, but Lorf, the leader of the giants of Jotian Heim, Loki should know where. After today's affairs are over, trying to find a way to contact Loki can be regarded as a little help. Loki and Lorf must be stabilized. Loki is still very conflicted in his heart tilde. Although there is hatred for Thor and Odin in my heart, but along with the appearance of hatred, there is also a wave of love. That kind of love, no one knows, no one knows. Therefore, from Kinyan's point of view, Loki is an unstable factor, like a time bomb, which may explode at any time. Thinking of this, Kin Yun sighed helplessly, Loki had to be steady here, and any rhetoric would have no effect in front of Loki. Loki is too smart, if you want to get Loki into the trap, you have to use sincere words, half-truths and half-truths in it, and you can make Loki believe it. For people like Loki, Kin Yun still has a hand. After all, when the men in Black Organization on Earth first started, he was the one who lured them in by tricking and abducting them. After officially joining the men in Black Organization, you don't have to worry too much. The rest will be digested internally. Kin Yun is such a person, if he can't get it, he tries to get it, and when he gets it, he just kicks it away, it's useless. Kin Yun stood at the door and watched Jane and Thor whispering to each other, that look was as sweet as it could be, not at all like the aggressive look he had when talking to himself before. This young couple is really interesting. They don't know that their love is only a few days away. Hey, don't blame me, who let the system issue me a mission to destroy 60% of Asgard's life. However, some of you may still be alive by then. Dark Elves and Giants of Jotun Heim are not weak enemies either. Kin Yun murmured in his heart, although the task given to him by the system was to eliminate 60% of Asgard's life. However, the Dark Elves and the Giants of Jotun Heim will never die with Asgard. If Asgard exists, there will be no good days for them. Which is more important, they all know each other in their hearts. The father of God Odin had been pressing on their heads for so long that they were almost out of breath. Fortunately, within a few days, the 5,000 year celestial body aggregation in Kyushu has created great opportunities for many countries that are hostile to Asgard. Such an opportunity is once in a thousand years. If we wait any longer, we may have to wait another 5,000 years. Okay, okay, it's getting late, if the two of you are busy, I'll go shopping alone. There is another person outside the door, you must not take it seriously. Kin Yun shouted at Thor and Jane in the room, and Kin Yun's voice sounded, making both Thor and Jane feel unnatural for a moment. The two of them looked at each other and smiled, and Thor patted his head with a laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot just now, let's go, I have to take Jane to have fun today, it's okay, it's okay. Kin Yun, didn't I take you to Asgard last time? Where do you want to go? Let's go. Thor waved his hand and said, Kin Yun shrugged indifferently. You can go anywhere, just see where you want to take me. If the two of you want a private date, then I'll go shopping alone, it's okay. Kin Yun said with an honest look and Thor was secretly happy when he heard it. This is exactly what he wanted. Because of his mother's instructions, he had to accompany Kin Yun to visit Asgard. Since Kin Yun has such an idea, then he can just follow the words and talk about it. That's really embarrassing, Kin Yun. I still have a lot to say to Jane, I may not be able to entertain you today. Later, if it's later, I will definitely come to you, how about it? Kin Yun rolled his eyes helplessly, and walked out without saying anything. He glanced around only to find a man in a green robe standing not far away staring at him. Dot. Zero. That person was indeed Loki, Kin Yun showed a smile, he really had nowhere to go, and it took no effort to get here. Originally, I wanted to find Loki and stabilize Loki, but I didn't expect Loki to appear on my own initiative, 
so he had to take the initiative to attack. In the next second, Kinyan appeared beside Loki in a flash, but Loki didn't realize it yet, looking at Jane's room in the distance. Guess Loki is still thinking about Thor and Jane. Kinyan stood behind Loki, shook his head helplessly. Kinyan stretched out his hand and patted Loki's shoulder lightly. A cold light appeared, and a small light blue dagger flashed in front of Kinyan. Kinyan stretched out his right hand, holding the small dagger firmly with two fingers. Dot dot zero. Your weapon needs to be modified, it's not good. With Kinyan's right hand exerting a little force, the small light blue dagger suddenly twisted, forming a strange arc, and Loki's eyes widened involuntarily. Is this how you treat your friends? If it weren't for my ability, I would have died in front of you just now. Kinyan pursed his mouth and said, Loki sneered, looking at Kinyan with murderous intent in his eyes. You are not my friend, I have no friends. You destroyed my weapon, and I haven't told you yet. Kinyan pulled his right hand away. Isn't it just a small dagger? With such strength, it's still a weapon? It's ridiculous. This is made by vibranium. Loki frowned and said, it was quite difficult for him to get this weapon. Vibranium? Isn't that the metal in Black Panther Wakanda? When Kinyan heard the term vibranium, he couldn't help muttering in his heart, vibranium can be regarded as the hardest metal in the Marvel Universe. But after Kinyan's feeling just now, vibranium didn't feel anything in his hands at all, as if it was a slightly better weapon. Kinyan didn't think about vibranium at all. Come on, come on, I'll help you get it back. Look at your stingy look, you're still the third son of Asgard. Chapter 149, Hold Loki. Kinyan said jokingly, snatching his small vibranium dagger from Loki's hand like a robber. Kinyan put it in his hand and weighed it. This small dagger made of vibranium is very light, as if it can cut through the air. It has to be said that Wakanda's technology industry is still very strong. Kinyan looked at the lines on the small vibranium dagger, and he was sure that it was vibranium. He stretched out his hand and pulled the small vibranium dagger back as it was originally, little by little. This scene made Loki very angry. If Kinyan could not easily pinch the small vibranium dagger, otherwise, he would never let Kinyan do it again. It is definitely a disrespect for one's own weapons, and it is also a disrespect for oneself at the same time. However, fortunately, after a few minutes, Kinyan finally pinched 483 as before. Here, here I am, isn't it just a small dagger? Is it worth it? It's really petty. Kinyan couldn't help sighing. Loki looked at Kinyan with wide eyes. He didn't want to say anything more, now he has the heart to kill Kinyan. It's just that his strength is not enough. Otherwise, he must kill Kinyan and get rid of him. Loki took it, and seeing that the small vibranium dagger in his hand had returned to its original state, he stretched out his hand and pulled it hard on the small dagger. Eh? What are you going to do? I don't care if you broke it yourself, I've already fixed it for you. Kinyan looked at Loki wonderingly, who knows what Loki is thinking. He finally fixed it for Loki, but Loki wants to break it himself. Loki struggled for a long time, but found that the small vibranium dagger in his hand hadn't changed in any way and the way he looked at Kinyan changed a bit. What is the origin of this person, a small human being on earth, who can easily make a small dagger made by vibranium like that? Loki murmured to himself, he couldn't believe it. He tried his best just now, but he didn't get any reaction from the small vibranium dagger, but it was so easy in Kinyan's hands. It's really more popular than Dead Man, which makes Loki feel a little bit of inequality in his heart. Don't bother, vibranium is the hardest metal, if you can make him like me, then you have become the king of Asgard. Kinyan said disdainfully, he could see Loki's careful thinking, and he couldn't laugh or cry when he saw Loki returning home after a busy half-day. Loki still has a strong desire to win and lose in his heart, even if his head-to-head -head strength is weaker than others. However, he will still think of using other methods to eliminate some of his weaknesses, so as to surpass others. So Loki's style of doing things is an unscrupulous person. But it is different for Thor as his brother. Thor is an above-board man who has been raised by the father of God Odin for many years. Many people see Thor's behavior in their eyes and Thor has Asgard's feelings. Many people think that Thor is the future king of Asgard, who can fully bear the responsibility of the father of God Odin and make contributions to the people of Asgard. However, there are still many people who compare Thor and Loki in private, but all the conclusions are that Loki is inferior to Thor. It is naked in front of them. Although Loki is a third son of the father of God Odin on the surface, in fact, many people don't take Loki seriously. Just pretend that Loki is just a scheming kid, nothing else. Loki wanted to change everyone's perception of him. But the father of God Odin's favoritism towards Thor repeatedly hit Loki's self-confidence, keeping Loki in a phase where he feels like a failure. Now hearing what Kinyan said, the dissatisfaction in his heart deepened. He turned his head to look at Jane's room in the distance, and never paid attention to Kinyan again. How old, still like a child, what? Jealous of Jane? Jealous of Jane that she has your brother Thor's love? Your concept has been deformed, Thor has his own right to choose, why should you? Kinyan spoke earnestly, but on the surface Kinyan was only persuading Loki. But in fact Kinyan had other thoughts in his heart. He wants to seduce Loki little by little, 
to make Loki's hatred for Thor deeper. Don't let Loki kill Thor and Odin for any hesitation. Can you control it? What's the condition of Jane's body? Do you know? Loki asked Kinyan without looking back. Kinyan pouted helplessly. There is an energy in her body that can make her a god, and she will be able to get along with your brother Thor day and night in the future. Just be a little follower and obediently follow behind his ass. If Jane, you will have to be called sister-in-law or something in the future. Ha ha. Kinyan spoke unhurriedly, but while speaking, he also looked at Loki's expression. Loki, who was originally as calm as water, showed anger on his face, and Kinyan was secretly delighted. Hooked. Get hooked and it's all good, just say something else, give Loki another kick, and it'll be perfect. The smile in Kinyan's heart remained undiminished, while the anger on Loki's face became even stronger. I'm going to kill her, I'm going to kill them all, they'll never have my blessing, I promise. R? What do they do with your blessing? They can do whatever they want. Does it depend on your idea whether the two of them can be together? Loki, don't you think highly of yourself? In my opinion, you are like the child behind Thor, following Thor's ass every day, being looked down upon by others. Kinyan covered his mouth and smiled. His eyes were full of sarcasm. Luji turned his head and looked at Kin Chang angrily. What? I said you can't say it yet. The whole of Asgard should know what you look like. Don't pretend. It's too difficult to change the people of Asgard's view of you, but there is still a way. It just depends on whether you are willing to do it. If you don't want to, there is no way. Every word of Kin Yun pierced Loki's heart like a sharp sword. Loki has been living in Asgard. Can he not know what those people think of him? What can you do? Do you think I want that? I don't. You are just a human on Earth. Just a bug. What can you say in front of me? It's ridiculous. Look at your own status first, and then tell me those non-existent things. Chapter 150 Conquering Loki Loki didn't look at Kin Yun in the slightest. In his opinion, even if a human being on Earth is powerful, he can't compare with a god. The gods are the real gods. Kin Yun is just a mud leg. Kin Yun shrugged indifferently, and looked at Loki with a playful smile. Oh, I have a little temper, but it's useless. If you continue like this, it won't do you any good. You have to know what you are going to do. What can you bring to Asgard? Our goal is to bring destruction to Asgard. Don't be like a child. Kin Yun didn't expect that at the last moment, Loki suddenly betrayed him, saying that he was wrong, and Thor and Odin would attack him. By that time, Kin Yun had to take Malgith, the leader of the Dark Elves, and Lorth the leader of the giants of Jotunheim, to kill Loki together. Is my own life more important than those fanciful feelings? Kinyan hopes that Loki will think carefully, and don't let himself be trapped because of impulsiveness. I hope you know what you're going to do, otherwise I don't mind killing 21 Thor and Odin before I kill you. A murderous look emerged from Kinyan's body, his eyes looked at Loki like a sharp knife, Loki couldn't help but shuddered when he looked at Kinyan's eyes. This dot 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 how many people have to be killed to have such eyes? Loki murmured in his heart. He looked at Kinyan as if he was a general fighting on the battlefield, stronger than the murderous intent of the father of God Odin. This scares Loki. Loki coughed twice, lacking confidence, and he nodded. Don't worry, I know the rest. I will obediently do what I have to do. It's no problem to cooperate with you, but I didn't expect that Asgard would be destroyed in my hands one day. Loki stretched out his hand, looking at his palm, he sighed. I have lived in Asgard for many years, but in the end it is still like a dream. It is really dumbfounding. I will go to Odin's vault tonight. At that time, I will go to the energy source 9 of the giants of Jotunheim, and you will call out Lorf, the leader of the giants of Jotunheim tomorrow. I have something to discuss with him. Don't say that you don't know anything. Otherwise, I'll kill you and go find him again. You can find Lorf from the giants of Jotunheim, and I'm no exception. Kinyan spoke unhurriedly. Loki's eyes widened. Kinyan actually going to Odin's treasury at night? Was Odin given some kind of ecstasy by Kinyan? Why? All good things come to Kinyan's head. What is the charm of Kinyan himself? Loki looked at Kinyan in disbelief, and Kinyan smiled helplessly. Don't worry, it was your mother who promised me, because I have already taken advantage of Jane's energy. As long as the time is right, Jane will become a god. Becoming a god? It's possible for you to lie to others, but you lie to me? It's impossible. This matter, when Loki heard it, there was an energy in Jane, and this energy could make Jane a god. It is obviously a very ridiculous thing. It is impossible to exist at all. Loki questioned Kinyan loudly. What are you doing with Jane? It is impossible for human beings to become gods. Kinyan just smiled faintly, not taking this matter seriously at all. The next second, Loki seemed to think of something, and he looked at Kinyan in disbelief. Did they all believe it? Can Jane become a god? FK, it's impossible. How could they be so stupid? They can't think of such a simple thing. Loki couldn't figure it out. He knew clearly that no matter how exaggerated the energy in Jane's body and time, it would not be able to help Jane become a god. But Thor and Odin chose absurdly to believe Kinyan, why, as the queen's mother, Frigga, would also believe in Kinyan. Couldn't they all see that this was Kinyan's simple trick? It is impossible in your eyes, but everything is possible in my hands. I have already convinced them. Don't forget what I told you. I want to meet Lorf, the leader of the giants of Jotunheim. Hope you can arrange it soon. Loki couldn't help but fell into deep thought. 
He didn't focus on arranging for Kinyan to meet Loth, the leader of the giants of Jotunheim, but paid attention to Jane. There is an energy in Jane, and this energy can make Jane a god through Kinyan's means, and Thor, Odin and Frigga all believe it. Loki's brain was running fast, he seemed to have thought of an answer, combined with the words Kinyan told himself before, he had a bold discovery. Impossible, impossible, what did you do to Jane? Everything is in your calculation, impossible, Jane is an unknown, how can you arrange her in the plan? Loki covered his head in pain, and looked at Kinyan in disbelief. The tricks he was good at were completely inadequate in front of Kinyan. He felt more and more unable to see through Kinyan. The human beings on this earth seem to hold everything firmly from above, playing with their psychology in the palm of their hands. There will be no secrets at all in front of Kinyan. Loki, who had been thinking for a long time, was already dripping with sweat, he asked. What is the energy in Jane? Shouldn't you know? Kinyan showed a playful smile, and it hit Loki's heart like a bolt from the blue. However, Luji still held a look of disbelief. With type particles? When Loki said type particles, he hoped that there would be no type particles on Jane even if it was other energies. Once it is type particles, it will be absolutely finished. However, Kinyan nodded slightly and smiled faintly. It seems that you are not so stupid. You guessed it all at once. Indeed. The energy in Jane's body is type particles. Didn't you think that the type particles that counted so many times would be on Jane's body? And I have already moved the type particles. Once the type particles fluctuate, I will immediately sense it and can accurately lock the position, so you don't even think about it, as good's destruction is only a matter of time. Kinyan spoke unhurriedly. Every word Kinyan said was like a heavy hammer hitting Loki's heart. He finally knew why Kinyan had the courage to say this to himself. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.